And for my company is Black Series Edition LLC Crystal Edge Technology Screens are FLEBT company coming soon. What am I looking for here? I'm always looking for something. I'm just been, been here for a bit, working on a few things. I got a volcano to build for my projector mapping applications, and uh, still working on the curved screen, the cardboard uh, projection, the cardboard, the cardboard uh, computer monitor, not computer monitor, uh, PC cabinet and uh soon when i get some other more time working on my other pc with just a more recreational time than anything else and other projects I'm working on we got four more screen paints to make out of the uh colored screen paints and i got to get ad tech ready to go so that way when our investors come down i can show off the um new technology and a place i'm going to be renting out to show off the new technology so yeah i got a lot on my plate so um the spartan technology i really don't want to taint that with a bunch of nonsense i don't so what we're going to do is we're going to bring out a phantom we're going to call it a phantom challenger so purpose just to take screens out that's all it's designed to do i open up an ebay account it will be popping up on ebay you can't buy it's just there to show its presence i just want to see exactly we can put something on ebay Without selling it, just to have it there, we can. We'll pop it up on Amazon, any place there's screen paint, that it's gonna pop up. So, the Spartan's a little different. It's a limited edition screen. There's a collection of these screens, about four of them. They have these interesting names. They're like these like mystical, kind of legendary, kind of, you know, really uh, rare screens. We wanna keep that category like that. We don't want it involved with individuals that were taken in and out of court and dumb nonsense like that and companies where we don't want to associate it with that. We got to keep that reputation pure. So since we do have a vast library of technology that we no longer use anymore, and we have the Element 77, which allows us to bring all that technology back to life under the new technology, one of the screens that was the biggest threat to these naysayers was a phantom. Because phantoms could do things that other screens literally couldn't do. That's why if you look at the um, Spartan, the Spartan's an actual phantom screen. It has FOE technology embedded into it, but it's a much more advanced per version of that technology. If you look at the, I'm gonna show you some videos. You see some screenshots, the videos come up and up. Phantoms can match TVs. Phantoms at 20% knocked out 17 certified screens. It's actually on record. This is why we record everything. 17 certified screens. The only screens we haven't put against the Phantom was a diamond because we didn't have them at the time. We have about four diamond sample sheets for that. So it's a pretty powerful screen. And that's why if you notice, anytime you see any naysayer pick up a container of paint and talk about it a lot, that's the one they fear the most. And the Phantom was the most feared screen. So we're gonna bring it back. It's called a Challenger. And the reason why it's so purpose is to come and we're gonna buy from you. There, I don't have time for the, oh, he canceled. I don't have time for that. Simple and plain, I gotta do this fast and quick. So we have to prove that this is gonna give us a nice track record that we can develop something in 20 minutes, launch it before it's tested. This is how, this is how crazy it's gonna tell you. I gotta do stuff at the end of the day, wild stuff to keep myself, keep things interesting. So we're gonna launch an untested product that's gonna take out other products. And then we'll test it later and show you how bad, how amazing this product is. Tell me that's not a freaking adrenaline rush right there. Launch an untested product and we have no idea how it's gonna react and knock out all the screens, come back, test it, pass test, and then take it off the shelf. Because it's not designed to be sold. It's just to represent how fast we can develop technology and how much of a reach we can affect with our technology. That's all it's purpose for. So, for the naysayers, uh, please don't make this about you, because it's not about you. It's about every screen that we can get our hands on. Since we do have some of the more harder screens, because yeah, the diamond technology was not an easy screen to obtain, and we were blessed to get uh, four of these. So um, the rest of them, not hard to get. DMP Supernova, I got that in my collection. Um, who else we got? Um, Elite Dark Star 9, but what I've seen on their site, they had a bunch of them on there. So I'm, I'm getting all of them, all of them. They have the Dark Star 9 Ultra Short Throw. They have this other new version screen on there. I'm getting all of them on there. So I'm gonna get the shop and knock them out. Vivid Storm, we can pick that up at Amazon. They have a bundle we can pick up at that. I do have to pick up the Elite screens uh, any of their screens that they have for outside for the yard master because we got the outdoor projection screen coming out and i need to do demonstrations against that and as for the screen paints 
it's when you see the presence of it pop up on eBay, you're going to wipe the entire eBay list. Everything. I mean everything. The entire list. And those videos will be posted of every single screen paint we take out. Um, if we come to buy from you and you cancel out, then that's the end of it. There's no this, that. We don't have time for the crap. You got an option. You sell or you don't sell. That's how it works. I don't want to hear anything in between. No crying, no whine, no care, blah, 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 blah. That's it. We move on. Flash your receipt. They canceled out. That's the end of it. Move on. Uh, for the other person who removed the state, I got a buddy over in Texas. He's going to buy from you. He's going to let you know it's from us. Um, he's going to take care of it for us because he did remove the entire state of Pennsylvania. It is still missing. So um, we did make an attempt to make an order last night. It's the state's missing. So uh, somebody's going to come in from Texas. I might do two states so we can actually get a reinsurance on that one. Because, again, it shouldn't be a problem. If your product worked and you claimed you did take out a Phantom technology, you really shouldn't have a problem taking it out. The Spartan was a Phantom. That's the reason why he, did, we won't go, he won't go near it. He never did take it out. He never had it. So if you beat something, you shouldn't be a problem. Like right now, Crow's Paint, I can buy every single one of Crow's Paints and test them all over again because we've had them already. I know what they are. That's the reason why we get the cancels. So, again, if you cancel, gentlemen, we're not going to go in this drama queen nonsense with you. You cancel. We post your receipts. We're done. We move on. We go to the next product. That's what we do. This is not about you. And please don't think we made this stuff for you. Don't do that. This is about basically showing that we can basically take an old product, re-engineer it in 20 minutes, and then turn around and launch it to take out other products and bring it back and basically have it pass all tests. Hmm. That's pretty fun, ain't it? Yep. I gotta think of so I gotta think of crazy stuff to do. All demonstrations will be done live. Shouldn't be hard to knock out. We've done all the tests already. Pretty much we've already tested everything already. So it's gonna be a cakewalk. If your screen's gray or or white, forget it. You, you're just gonna have a really rough time with this thing. So, you know, it is what it is. If you're gunmetal certified technology, you definitely can't pass that thing. We knocked out certified those 20. 20, 20, um, 20 minutes, you can look at the video, test on this phantom screen, we just developed 20 minutes into it, the first show of that screen, it took out 17, 17 certifies. So imagine what it's gonna look like with an FLE embedded into it. Yeah, it's gonna, be a, it's gonna be a beast. And it's front and rear technology, which means it can absorb sunlight. And you know what that means, right? All these people talking about ambient light rejection technology, yeah, you're not gonna, you're gonna pass this thing. That's why we designed it this way, and we can't sell it. We just want to show at the end of the day that what we can do. That's all. So I don't need to keep in mind. I don't need to go in to my. Let me, go, let me show you how how far our art guys goes back. I don't need to go in to. Um, I got like customers chime in. You can look at my curb screen over here in the building. I don't need to go in to, um, uh, to uh, make anything new. I have, I have quite a lot of screen paints, a lot of them. And the thing about it, I thought about when we developed the Element 77, and instead of going in and reconstructing stuff, we can go back and bring back old technology and just advance it and upgrade to the technology we have now. So, for instance, um, the Alpha Cinemax. That technology, black, can take out diamond technology, which you saw, an easy overpowered diamond screen with no problem whatsoever. And any gray screen, pretty much anything we want, it can take it out. So instead of going back and just, we can just bring back the, I can bring back an eight and wipe out an entire product line. But that's what we want to represent. When that challenger comes out, that black phantom pops up, it's going to be untested. Which means we're going to take a raw element technology, stick it on the internet, and wipe out screens with it, and then bring it back, and then pass all tests, and then we're done with it. We don't need it anymore. Put it back on the shelf. It served its purpose. That's it. It'll never be sold. It doesn't need to be sold. We got plenty of technology. I don't need any more on my plate than I already got. I'm just going to use it just for that purpose only. So if we have the ability to develop stuff or recreate stuff or basically upgrade stuff, and with a 20 minute period of time, what hope does any company have against us? Think about it. Look, people, for some people sitting there saying, well, you know, we're, we're branching offline quick and soon. I'm already got things being set up. When this camera shuts off, there are things going on, phone calls being made, companies I'm talking to. I'm going to be, an, I'm a company that's going to be embedded into a lot of other companies. I'm branching out. 
I'm not going to be on YouTube for the purpose of selling on YouTube. We're going to be out there. And in order to be out there, you have to prove that your product works. And what better way to prove to a company that we're worth the time to invest in than to design something and launch it before it was ever tested and wipe out other screens with it. Because that tells them at the end of the day, if they have that capability, gee was Louise, anything they design, they're, they're going to be on top. Anybody invested in us is going to be on top. Yeah. You have to show that. And that's the whole purpose of it. And I think, oh man, why don't we just give it the Imperior? Can we change it to Imperial? Because I want that Imperial. Dan, dan, dan. No, no, we got to keep this through shit. We can make an Imperial. I can make a black, I can make a dark Raider paint. <laughs> See, I basically gave me the rights to do that. Yeah, I can make a customized screen paint for dark Raider fans. We can do anything we want. Anything we want. And since we got color screens, I can make an orange Dragon Ball Z paint. Mm. All right, let me get over here. I got to pull something up out of my archives. I got to dig up this phantom technology. We're going to be bringing in. And like I said, it's going to be no, oh my goodness, we crushed you. No, it's not, I don't got time for that. I got to come in, bring your stuff in, unbox it, uh, set the projector up, put you on the screen, and then test you. You're going to be tested at ultra short throw. You'll be tested at Pico projector. You'll be tested inside. You'll be tested outside and maximum fully lit environments. Mind you, that technology we're going to embed absorbs sunlight. So what kind of thing is going to happen if you can't absorb in fully lit environments? If you haven't faken demonstrations, if you haven't been demonstrations properly, if you've been lying about ambient light rejection technology, if you really don't have this, you will find out how well your stuff works. You've seen what we do with ambient light rejection. I just dropped two videos a few minutes ago showing a, we did a short version of a video we already have of an Optima GT5500 outside. No doors, no windows, no roof to protect it. The screen sits outside. And mind you, the Optima GT55 and 56 are only designed to do a 100-inch screen. We're, max, we're at 140 inches outside. Contrast levels, color levels, white levels, the whole nine yards. So if we can survive environments like that, and you're on an ultra short, though, in a dark environment, you're not going to make it. So we expect a lot of cancellations. I expect to get containers without labels attached to them. I expect for companies to say, hey, you know, um, you can't really come here to get this. Uh, I got a dealership you can go to, and they'll contact the dealership ahead of time. So they'll deny us the sample. I've seen that already. I actually, it was one company that did it already. I'm not going to name who, but they did. They keep us from getting their sample sheet. Doesn't make a difference. If I have to go through that, and I shouldn't have to go through that because ordered sample sheets before, never had that problem. We're just going to say, well, we couldn't get it from so and so and so because we got a runaround. So that's usually what we get. Is a runaround. And on top of that, this will be a fantastic video to show our investors. Look at this. This is a product we have. We don't make it anymore. We brought it back. We put this element technology into it. And this is what we did on Amazon. And this is what we did on eBay. This is all the other companies we tested. Goose screen, paint on screens, box, if they're still around, which I have not seen anything from them. And then you guys at the end of the day who talk all this trash, yeah, the same thing. We got cancel orders on you anyway, so we're just coming to give you a chance one more time again. See, that's the thing about it. I really don't have to waste my time on coming in and buying your products because we've done this already. I have cancels on you, but we give you the opportunity. So I can say, yeah, well, we came back. We went and purchased. We got cancel order here. Got a cancel order here. So I'll buy each paint from your site to get a cancel order from each one. We try to get that one, cancel order, cancel, cancel, cancel. Now, if this bothers you and this makes you upset, come on. If you're going to put product on the market, you got to expect people going to test your stuff. You got to, it's going to happen. The only problem we have is that the people who claim to have tested their stuff has never bought anything from us because we don't have any order forms from them. And this is the reason why we have the courts coming up because they made false statements that they bought these products, they got them from customers, and we don't have any. And there's nothing there showing that they haven't purchased anything from us. Except for one, the 2.0. That's the only thing we have. So they're going to have to back up those receipts in court. So that's why. Well, let's move on. i got a thing to do. So I can back up that I've purchased. I've got receipts dating back when you were on eBay. When he was on eBay, before he had the website. we got receipts back, dating back far back. So we've had your stuff. But I'm giving you the opportunity. Now, there's other screen paints we're interested in. And it's a paint on screen, goose screen. Uh, let me see, Pro HD, uh, there's another one called, I think Screen Cinema, I think it is, there's a, there's a couple of them on there that we're interested in. So, it shouldn't be hard to get them all. It's like Pokemon, gotta catch them all. 
So that's what we want to do. And on top of that, it's fun. With all the stuff I got to do, look, I'm doing a curved screen, and all of a sudden we're designing at the same time, and I'm knocking this out at the same time. It shows companies that can multitask. So not only can I engineer new, new technology and test new technology, I can take out technology all at the same time. I have to show for other people who feel that I'm doing this. No, I'm doing this because we need to be out there. Out there, you have to show a whole different beast at the end of the day. It's not the same online. It's different out there. You have to back it up. You're going to have more skepticals out there, more trolls out there than you've ever seen. You have to be able to back it up. And you have to show that you are different from everyone else. That's why our demonstrations are unmatched. So I'm not going to launch my Spartan for that because my Spartan is a beautiful, going to be a beautiful legendary collection line, rare collection line. And if we don't really need that, we can just go pick up something from the archives. That's it. So the one screen that they fear the most was a phantom. So a phantom with an FLE coding is what we'll bring out. And we'll make sure it's untested right from the container. It'll knock everything out. And then we'll test it and show you that it could have passed that anyway. This is why I sit there and explain on camera and people think I'm lying when I say that we really actually do not have to test our products. All our technology comes from God. Anything that comes from God is flawless which will represent that. We'll bring the technology out, we'll drop the element to it, and we'll launch this product without one test attached to it. It will knock out every single screen it hits, come back and pass all tests. Watch. You have to have, if you don't have that kind of confidence in your product, then you shouldn't be buying from people like that. They don't have that kind of confidence at the end of the day to do that. It's not bragging, gentlemen. It's basically confidence in your product. I can't wait for the ship back. Like, I love the ship back so much. I have no idea. <sighs> All right. You have to have that kind of confidence. Companies don't want people that, well, we don't know. We're not sure. Customers don't even want that. Can you imagine you going in to get your car fixed and the mechanic comes and goes, well, uh, it could be. I don't know. It may be. It, it might be. You know, I could do that, but I'm not really, you know, I don't think I want to. You, know, you don't want to hear that at the end of the day. You want to hear, oh, well, the problem is we pinpointed down to three different areas. So it could be this, it could be this, it could be that. So right now we're running some diagnostics on it right now to see exactly where we can pinpoint where the exact problem is com problems coming from. And when we're done with our testing, we'll come back and we'll give you an idea around about well, what this is going to cost you. I mean, I've done this before. Um, it's a pretty easy fix if it is this particular situation. So you're in good hands. That's what you want to hear. There you go. Could be. Because I go to mechanic and hear that crap, and they're like, oh, no, we don't control my vehicle. No. All right, let me see. I'm going to come out of here. I'm going to get a sign out of this so you guys are not staring through. And I got to go into my other list. So I got to bring up this whole specification. You got to re engineer this whole thing. Have to do all the technology we have is way beyond this now. Uh, let's go lock this page up. Let me come out of this page. Come to here. Put that in right there. And <coughs> just me people. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, that's not out here. I can go to another account. <coughs> Yeah, you got to be the back your stuff up, man. And on top of this, it's fun for me. I got enough to do on my plate as it is, but I kind of like it when my plate's crowded. My plate is really, really crazy crowded. This is the only way I can work and function correctly. Come on, get out of there. You don't even need to be in that section. What are you all up in there for? Ah, uh, let me see. Yeah, that's the only way I can basically work. I work better when I'm under pressure. That's when I work better. I got nothing to do. I get bored. I get bored quick. So I have to be, I have to have tons and tons. Why you see me stacking like I paints to do and this, that, and that. I have to be like that. I, I, that's how I thrive. That's how it works. So, you know, I got people that are contacting me and say, man, I'm watching you. I'm, mind you, I got five or six people, these naysayers, one of the main ones were taking the court, five of them against me, five of them attacking me on social media, attacking me on, trying attacking my family, carrying on and acting up. At the same time, I'm producing new technology. At the same time, I'm doing testing, uploading videos, designing new labels, doing paperwork, all that. Well, all that's going on at the same time. 
and they can't even stand when I come to their front door to buy they can't even handle that pressure you can't handle that you can't make it out there you can't make it anywhere you have to be to handle all that come on now have to that stuff don't even bother me Te oh oh I forgot about the text messages and all that dumb nonsense all that nonsense yeah and you mean to tell me I can come back out there with a smile on my face and new to new technology for them to hate on even more we can develop new technology for them to hate even more yeah let's see okay crystal I can't wait to finish this screen right here Well, you know, he, he hasn't finished this yet, and he's still doing it. You know, because I do that multitask. I do like multiple things. As a matter of fact, when I was actually living in the house, I was building three different environments at the same time and working on an outdoor screen all at the same time. Why do you think I have all those videos? So that's what companies want. They want somebody that can work under pressure. That's what they want. If you don't work under pressure correctly, you're going to mess them up in the long run. Come on, get this right. Give me, um, let me see. How can we to work under pressure? Very important. See, this is the reason why Christians are stronger. That's why. We are, we're much stronger. I'm in the process of, I wanted to have somebody build the FOE, I'm building it myself. Why not? I built three, I built two of them already. Mars built me another one. And I want to design a certain way. I'm definitely not going to do Wix. It's definitely going to be going to GoDaddy. That's what I'm going to do right now. Because I got the host, I need, I got to host a server or something so they got everything over there i need to get it done i think vip vip or whatever it's something i need over there but yeah they got everything i need so i'm going to be doing some other stuff with that with that site because we got companies coming on board for that technology and i need something for networking which is extremely important so i'm gonna have to build me a server over here well i'm building a server at the new place because we're actually looking on getting a bigger warehouse a work floor a loading dock and an office area because right now, I'm renting out, I'm going to be renting out a couple of showrooms to have the clients come down to check out the new ad tech technology. And I got to contact them and ask them where the bigger windows are going to be at so we can rent there. All right, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see what we got to do here. We don't have it down there? Where is it? All right, come on, what can we got to do? All right, get, 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 be nice, be nice, be nice, be nice. That's it right there. I'm pretty sure it is. All right. Let me see something. I'm trying to remember something. I need to get access to that page. I can't do this on camera either. All right. Let me see. I'm pretty sure we got it. But I don't think we want to hide from this. Our page jumped by a lot. We had 463 yesterday. Sheesh. All right, cool. I got to tweak my search engine optimize. That's a giant. That's a giant um uh um business card too. Also, let me go into my site. I'm going to my site real quick. I'm editing my site. All right, next bring you guys in. So yeah, that's what the challenge is going to be designed for. One purpose, one purpose only. 
It's designed to basically to represent exactly how advanced our technology is, how much of a reach we have in the projector community, and to show that our product is number one. It's going to be an untested product. And then we'll bring it in when we're done and show it fully tested past all demonstrations with no problem whatsoever. We showed you that we really don't have to show you test demonstrations if we don't want to. We just show them because, again, it's required. Let's go over to our... No, we need to go over at elements. We need that. I need to go over to my pages and bring up my marketplace. So, you gentlemen think you make screen paint, right? Let me show you where my screen paint category goes. It's the biggest list we have in screen paints. We have more than anybody else. But let me show you how far we go back. Um, let's go to marketplace. No, we need a market. I'm going to go here. Check the marketplace first here. All right, we should be on it already. Let me see. Click on it. Oh, nope, didn't click me over. Get me into my marketplace, please. Page, please. Work for me. There we go. And if I were to give you the challenge to go against all my products, you couldn't do it. It'd be, you don't have the time. <clears throat> you virtually do not have the time to do it. So this is what we have here. This is what we have in our collection. see exactly what you're going to be up against. Well, you're not going to be up against anything. You're no competition. Now, get you in there real close. Here we go. Show you how far we go down. It's going to be a while. We have to find the phantom technology. So let's begin. You got everything from visible technology, acoustic technology, you name it, we've done it. Projector packages, just about everything. Those are pre-coded screens. Right there. Titan technology. Right there. Whole product line. We can actually bring Titan back. Actually, there is a Titan coming back. It's actually under the a legendary edition technology uh, for the um the Spartan technology. It's a rare limited edition screen. That Titan will be coming back. Uh, let me see. This would be gunmetal technology right here. Also, more gunmetal technology. Let's see. Black Widow, that's a 38. Let me see. Pre coded screens. Pre coded screens. Uh, this is a, another Black Widow 38. One was a gunmetal. This right here was called a Phantom 21 Absolute. It was a gamer technology we developed. Uh, this right here is the Phantom. This is the screen they fear. This is the one that's coming back. This one's sole so purpose is for one thing. It's a show. You'll see it pop up on eBay. You'll see the logo and everything pop up. You can't buy it. It's only designed to show it's present. When we get done, we're going to show the test demonstrations, and they'll be displayed on that product on eBay. So when you click on it, you'll see all the paints it went against. Yeah, pretty interesting way of actually marketing product, eh? All right, let me see. Now, if the other people make these products that they want to complain, it's business at the end of the day. You can't complain. It's business. You can't say, oh, we visually, no, I didn't visually attack you. It's business. That's what it is. Feel free to come to my site and test myself. Knock yourself out. I don't care. It's business. If you want to complain about it and cry about it, then get out of the business. This is a Final Black Phantom 21. Final Black Phantom 21. Well, let's just show you all the stuff we have in here because we're going to be here for a while. This is all right here. This is, um... Phantom 19 dedicated. This was an inflatable screen paint we developed. Um, let's see, this is uh, Dark Cinema Gamer. Oh, let's keep going. Got a whole lot to go. This is the whole entire Phantom lineup right here. Keep going, got more. Another set. This is all invisible technology. Uh, this was used for projector mapping applications. So you see the different codes and colors for which one they stand for. All right, this is called the Inferno. This is also, too, going to be engineered into legendary technology for uh, Spartan limited uh, collection. We got the throwback, which is the 2.0, Digital One 2.0. Over here, we got something called Deep Blue. This is another technology that was designed for fish tank aquarium applications for mapping and all that stuff. But let's keep going because we I got things to do and we're going to be, it's a bit to get through all this. Let me just show you how all this stuff. Now, the reason why we have 10,000 videos logged into our YouTube account 
because every single one of these products you're looking at right now is all tested every single one of them the same test you see me put this stuff through it's the same through that's a lot of freaking work ain't it yeah it is it's a lot of work so when we got people up there who have these fake screen paint products and they refuse to do basic tests, this is why I laugh at you at the end of the day. This is why I tell you at the end of the day, you are not on my level. It's not to be disrespectful. It's to be true. Look at all that. All that stuff is tested. You can pull any one of those up and find a video on it. We're not even anywhere near the bottom. Supreme. Now we've hit Supreme. Supreme's um, technology right here. Keep going, keep going. These are Supreme Nines. This is their category right here, Supreme Nines. Now, also to consider the big picture of this all, all this technology we're engineering, have you seen anything new from them? No, at all, nothing. So they haven't developed anything new in the timeline that we're engineering, all this technology, they weren't nothing. It tells you right there, they did nothing. In the timeline, they did nothing, Supreme Eight. Another Supreme 8 down here. These are all Supreme 8s in this section right here. Keeps going down. Supreme 8. So we should be hitting 7s pretty soon. Here we are. Category 7. Supreme 7s right there. So they've hated on every single one of these screen paints. They hate it. They did videos about all these products not working. And yet, they have nothing to show for it. See what I mean? Anybody waste too much time. That was a time waster. You weren't doing anything with your time. Um, let me see. This is a spray on application. This is where we have projectors. We used to have projector combo kits. Oh, let me see. Let me see. Oh, bum, bum, bum. These are the projector combo kits right there. That's why I said, where are your tests? You don't have any testing. All this stuff is tested. Uh, this is luminous. Now we're in the luminous category. Ambulant rejection technology. Uh, that right there would be the eclipse technology. Right over there. More demonstrations. More this no starting down stream paints. Oh, this was a football package we used to have. Oh, I think it's amazing too. I was, they call them the big 180s. It's a 180-inch screen that came with a gallon. They sold like crazy. Um, let me see. We have uh luminous black technology here. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Oh, panel. We have panel projection screens. These are 10 panels. So it's a 10 panel system that allows you to connect all the screens together. They're magnetic. You can connect all the screens together, make one big large screen or make different screens. We may bring that out. I'm not sure. I'm not I'm decided on that yet. We had a screen called Dedicated Black. It was a 4K technology. This was right around the time we had the Optima GT. No, not Optima GT. We had the uh, PX747 4K projector. And that's when I realized that we can make a screen paint look just like a 4K. So I was like, I'm never buying 4K ever again. And I never bought 4K ever again. But we don't need it. Here it is. That's 4K technology right there. Um, this right here is Illuminous Deep Silver. The silver technology. This was for a blackout cloth that was pre-coded for that. So we're going to make there. More invisible technology. Pre-coded technology. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Which this is nanotechnology which actually was a kind of a wallpaper projection screen uh backyard cinema technology oh the eclipse invisible this stuff is this is the one you see that basically comes up in black it has the clear borders that's an invisible right there there we keep going with that keep going with that uh we still got more to go we're not at the bottom yet i oh, know this is more this is an eclipse right there that's the eclipse platinum eclipse that was gunmetal technology are these motorized projection screens we're selling yeah, we sold motorized projection screens right there. Motorized projection screens right there. We used to sell them right there. Yep. Uh, this right here would be the... Oh, this is the one gallon of the Eclipse TI-47, which is the uh, basic uh, chemical element for silver. 47, or AG-47. Well, we had something. Oh, no, it was titanium. Sorry, titanium silver. That's what that was for abbreviation for. All right, more projectors, more, we're still not at the bottom yet. This is when we do projector package combos, gaming technology. Oh, wait, is this the screen? Yeah, this one came with a freaking screen. This was a board lift that came with a, free, a projection screen that we built, we built the frame. If I can't get it to that section, you can see it. There we go. So it came with, it was an immersed 4K cinema, board lift, 92 inch, 169, 16.9 that came with the frame and screen. It's a kit. We actually built the frames for you. There's another one right there. They sold like crazy. 
All right, so we're still going. We still got more to go. We're not even at the bottom yet. We just got more technology here. Uh, these are fixed frames. This is actually we sold fixed frame screens, pre-coded them, put them back in a box, sold them to our customers. Yeah, let me see. <clears throat> platinum. It's a platinum borderless screen. More thick. Um, bum, 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 bum. Let's keep going. Oh, we hit the crystal edge. Yeah, this is the crystal edge. Crystal edge. Crystal edge. Didn't we sell crystal edge? There we go. Crystal edge screen paint. Crystal edge actually had his own screen paint. Uh, let's keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, fusion silver. Fusion silver. This is when we're developing silver technology. This was actually hologram 3D black technology. Or actually, 3D application technology. Let's keep going. So we got more to go. Uh, I think we're almost near the end. Uh, let me see. This is also to invisible technology. Bum, 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 bum. Projector kits. Let's keep going. And we hit the bottom. So, you mean to tell me that all that technology we engineered through all that, all that stuff is tested. This is why we have a whopping almost, almost near almost 10,000 video demonstrations completed. And this is not, this is what we have now. This is not considering the other era of digital one crystal screen paint. Because we basically, the site for that one we got rid of. That was under the contract that went down. The contract we had problems with. You go to that archives and see how many videos we have under that one. So you mean to tell me we designed somewhere between 30 to 40 different formations of gray paint. All of this technology right here. And you guys really think you're on our level? All this stuff is tested. Hmm? That's why we bring back that Phantom Challenger, which we are. That product's going to have that new element dropped into it. It's going to be raw, untested. It's going to take everything out, bring it back, pass all tests, and put it right back in the category. To show you that any given time that we can launch anything from this list and drop in the Element 77 and take your stuff out. This is a huge library. And mind you, this is the stuff that's sitting and we don't make anymore. Imagine the stuff we're engineering right now. So if you think you can catch up to us, it's virtually impossible. This is what I meant by to say that we raised the bar literally so high it's almost impossible for anyone to even reach us. It's a lot, man. It's a lot of freaking screen paint. Hmm. All this technology is designed to wipe out what it's designed to wipe out. The silver technology we used at the engineer to wipe out other silver screens. There we go. And now we are back to these are the ones we have now. <clears throat> so when I get on camera and you hear me say out of my mouth and I say, well, you know, hey, um, we can go to our archives. We dropped, that's what the whole thing about 77 was, element 77. It allows us to bring all that technology back to life. That technology back then can wipe out the stuff we have now. But the stuff we add into it, it's far, far worse. So what chance do you have when you think about it? So talk is cheap. I know that too, talk is very cheap. So we'll launch a challenger, the um, Phantom technology, and we'll basically post it to eBay, we'll post it to Amazon, and we'll wipe the entire list clean. And then when we're done, we'll go to your naysayers at the end of the day, we'll go directly to your sites, put the orders in, and we'll watch the cancellations come through. Once we got our cancellations gathered from you, we're done. We move on. We ain't got no time for anything else. You're crying. We don't care. Any videos you make, we don't care. We're done. We move on. Go to the other one. Contact the friend in two states. Put the order through. Let them know they're from us. And if he cancels out the states, we already know. All that information comes back to us. We're good. We know exactly how you handled your business. That's the end of it. And then we come back here. We knock out all the certifiers. That's it. And then we take it off the shelf. It's only, it's only designed for one purpose. So, when I want to come in on camera and I want to say, look, our technology is so advanced that we took something off a shelf, untested, upgraded it, and wiped everything out and put it back. I can, I can see that. What could you say against that? And if you're talking trash, we can launch it again and shut your site down. All right then, yeah. Like I said, at the end of the day, don't ask for things you, you're not ready for. You know, don't never ask for anything you're not ready for. We can go right through that arsenal, bring any one of those up and take your stuff out. I just wanna let you know, people know what you're up against. And for you to sit there and say, well, yeah, for some of you people don't like me at the end of the day, 
um, the reason why only people don't like us is people who make these products. Customers love us. And the reason why is because we can prove and back up that they're not going to get ripped off by us, but they'll get ripped off by everybody else. Paying too much for products that don't do jack at the end of the day. Spending money for these expensive projectors. And the projectors is just as wrong, too. Because these projectors come out knowing darn well that machine's not going to work without a proper screen. They know this already, but they sell you on a machine that they know that you can't even use. Some of them even have a partnership. They even work with the projection screen companies hand in hand. I'll scratch your back, you scratch mine. They'll tell you, hey, this screen will work, but it'll work better if you buy this projector. And the projector will sit there and say, hey, this projector will work better if you buy this screen. There you go. And you buy it, you get it home and find out, eh, it doesn't do what it's supposed to do. Then the time you got to calibrate, you got to be in dark environments, you have to have ambient light controlled environments, all this extra nonsense. It's extra nonsense. Instead of you just coming in, paint it in, set it up, set your projector, and done. That's it. So when you're watching me doing my unboxings, I got the 60 below demonstrations we're going to be doing. The 60 below's are all projectors we buy under $60. You watch me unbox every single one of those projectors. No setting. Take it out of the box. Hook it, hook it up. Hit the screen with it. That's it. Take out a high grade certified while we do it. You shouldn't have to go through all that. I go to these form sites and I read through all this freaking nonsense of people saying, I can't get this to work. I can't get that to work. I just paid for this projector. How come I can't have the lights on? Why is the screen washing out? Can't get the colors correct. How do you calibrate? It's just a whole bunch of craziness. Shouldn't be that way. So we just have to prove how it's done. And that's the reason why the companies don't like me. That's the reason why people make screen paint products. They can't stand me. That's why. That's why they'd rather make bad rumors about me at the end of the day that my products don't work so they can continue with their freaking gravy train. And no, I'm here to derail your gravy train. The only reason why I got into this business because I refused to pay $3,000 for a screen. And I never had to pay $3,000 or whatever for a screen. I don't have to pay for it because my technology is better than certified. For any certified company at the end of the day, once the sister said it's not true, challenge me. See what happens. See if I can't take your screen out. I can do it in 20 minutes. I can wipe your screen in 20 minutes. See if I can't do it. As a matter of fact, I could take your entire product line out if I want. If I'm going for your head, your best screen that you have, and this is what we go for, we go for the best of the best. If we take out the best of the best, what do you have underneath that? There you go. That's why they fear us. Now, I left the chat open. I did. I left the chat open because the chat's open because we want to see a people's reaction of what this technology is going to do. You can talk your trash. We don't care at the end of the day. Because when that product launches, we're going to go back to the chat, bring up whatever said what, and post it. You have to be the back to product. You have to be the, Companies have to be the back to products. Customers should get what they paid for. If any company feels at the end of the day that we are slanting, you take them to court. I got no problem with that. If anybody feels the need, we can't back our product in any court, I got no problem with going to court. It's not a problem. I'm the one making these statements. No one else is making these statements. Go do your research. Go talk to these companies. Ask them, hey, look, if this product matches anything, could you give me a demonstration showing me this product matching gray paint, black paint, whatever. Ask them. See what happens. They're going to they're tell you, what do you mean? What are you talking about? Our product's tested. I sat there and had that conversation with, um, as a matter of fact, I got to contact them anyway about that screen turning black on me. And the conversation with smarter screens. I sat there and had a conversation with them. Have you tested this against another black paint? What are the white levels on this demonstration? What's the lowest amount of lumens you can use on the projector? What kind of fully environments? Is it also sure they're compatible? I'm asking all these questions, and all I'm getting back is it's tested, it's tested, it's tested. Okay. Are the test results? Can I see them? Is there a place I can log in and check this out? Do you have this? So I can see these demonstrations, any side-by-side -side comparisons? It's tested. It's tested. When we find out over here when we test it that the screen doesn't exactly bring a white levels all that well. So it's interesting. You need to have these tests. The batch number, the batch number is a scary thing for screen paints, but it has to be done. The black on black, the gray on gray, very scary demonstration to do, but it has to be done. You as a consumer, what do you want to do? You want to pay $60, $100, $300 for a container of paint and find out that basically you could have did it yourself at Home Depot or Lowe's? It has to be done. And, you know, they can rant and carry on and scream and yell at the end of the day how much they hate me. I don't care. I came here to get a job done. I'm getting it done. 
regardless whether you like it or not. And I'll drag you in out of court. You can drag me out of court. It makes no difference to me. We can get the job done. Can you? So when we launch that technology, if your product is not tested, you're going to fail against it. If you basically lied in any of your specifications, which I will, I will test it against your specifications. You're not going to pass. If you do pass, hey, thumbs up to you. I would back you 100%. But if you don't, and your product doesn't do what you claim it does, then you're going to have a problem against that. You're going to be in the same environment we stick our screens in. No ambient light controlled environments, none of that dumb nonsense. We're going to be outside. You should be at a trigger at 6 with no problem. If you're a gray paint, this is not going to go well for you. You already know from the door. So we're not expecting any gray screens to be able to do this. No. But we are going by what you have said on your on your site or your videos or whatever. If you did make these accusations that your product is doing these things, then it should be to work quite well, as you said, right? Including range gain. If we can get our hands on it, which it's going to be a really problem paint to get because the fellow who makes it has canceled on us before. So he's canceled on us before, and he's even gone as far as pulling an entire state. So that's pretty bad. So I got a few friends. I got three people in three different states. Um, they're going to go and they're going to buy from him. And they're going to let him know directly that it's coming to us. Now, he can cancel on them, give them back their money, or he can pull the entire state. I don't know how he's going to go about it. You know what I mean? If he does send them down something faulty, they've seen our demonstrations. They said right from the door, they're going to file post office fraud charges on them. Because you can't be sending people. So you got to send people legit stuff in the mail. Can't be doing that stuff. That's just dumb business practice all together doing dumb stuff like that. If you can't produce a product and you can't sell the product, don't ship it, don't sell it. If you have to go to tactics of uh, doing falsified products and shipping to the medicine, get you in trouble. And if anyone wants to sit there and say to me at the end of the day, well, what about, what about me? I have the most tests. I have the most demonstrations. I have the most black on black. And I have the best policy for ship back than anybody else. What about me? I hear a lot about what about me, and I don't hear a lot about getting the, done, the job done. I'm going to come out of here because we're done here. Um, I can come back and get that. We're going to redesign the whole specification sheet. There's no point. And I think I'm going to give it a new brand or label, too, on top of that for it. Now, this product is not going to be available for sale. It's only designed for one purpose and one purpose only, and that is basically to take out screens. That's it. That's the sole purpose. That's it. This is the show. And I'm going to be showing this to other companies, too. Oh, yeah, it's going to be a video when used for other companies. They let them know that, look, this is what we do. This is what we can do. So if you sign on with us, you have no competition. So if you do, we can take it out. So the problem is, people, the reason why we're so advanced in our technology, and I'll tell you why. Everybody played the game. That's the problem. They played the game. You know what the game is? The game is make a screen paint, put it in an ambient light controlled environment, Hit it with a high power projector and tell people the same simple stupid protocol they've been saying for years. Well, you have to put, you want to optimize your viewing pleasure. You want to make sure you're in an ambient light controlled environment. If you want your colors to work correctly, you'll have to calibrate. You shouldn't have to calibrate jack. How, how many, oh, what kind of colors do your projectors produce? Beautiful colors, right? What the frick are you calibrating? All this nonsense. It's this protocol. That's all it is. It's just to tell you, AKA, calibrate, my colors don't work on my screen. AKA, ambient light controlled environment, your screen will wash out. We try to use it in normal settings. That's what it is. And then they try to push you to go near ultra short though projectors. It's the main projector you need to use because this projector has an extremely small window when it comes to the distance throw, which means you're going to be able to have more of your lumens. You're going to be able to pick up a better picture because your projector is literally sitting right on top of the screen. But still, even in those demonstrations, all those projectors sit in the dark. You see my demonstration with the Optima GT outside? That's a challenge, by the way. Oh, and in that demonstration, we pull a 100% contrast star field outside. So, that's what I said. I call myself having real ambient light projection screens. They don't have them. So, the problem you have here is that everybody followed that gravy train. Easy money. We'll go on air, we'll do a dark environment. And you know what? Why it's easy money? Because the customers expect this. They expect the dark environments, ambient light controlled environments, calibrating, expensive. They expect this. They expect color washout. They expect poor contrast. They expect this. 
This is why if you go over and you look at the OLED TVs and you have a conversation with them about projecting screens, they'd be like, I don't want that crap in my house. Like, come on, are you kidding me? Like, the bottom line is, I mean, I'd rather spend the money on this because at the end of the day, I'm getting 100% contrast. I can use my screen in a fully new way. They're not joking. They can. Because that's your protocol. So, you come in and now you change the whole thing. You make it possible that people can use screens in fully lit environments and they can do all this stuff that you normally couldn't do with a projector. This is going to cause a lot of problems. So that means a lot of people are going to get derailed off the gravy train. Why would someone buy an ultra sure throw uh, projection screen from you when they have to be stuck in a dark environment with a projector that costs them thirty one or four thousand or five thousand dollars? When we could do it at sixty bucks at one hundred and fifty inches, inside or outside, for far less. We're going to spend $5,000 for a certified screen that the whole purpose of gunmetal technology is to be to produce heavier contrast levels. So if we have a technology that reads an infinity one black level, what purpose would it be for the gunmetal? Because that was the sole purpose of the gunmetal. It'd be to pull a heavier contrast level. Can't be the screen that reads 100% infinity levels. And you're going to spend $5,000 for that screen, but a 250-inch screen of that technology would cost you under $400. All right, let me see here. I'm going to come out of here. Um, or we can just go right here. We, we, no, I can stay in here, but i got to work in here. I'm going to go into... The only people that are going to argue, the only people that are going to be bitter and upset, that's why I left the chat open. Because if you're coming... I, you already know my rules in the chat. If you're coming and ask questions about the products, I don't answer in chat. I never do. Um, the only people that come in upset and angry are people who make products. So you'll get a chance to see them expose themselves. The only people that come in upset. But to be fair, I am going to read through your specification sheet. You pick up at 2,200, 2,000 lumens. We read at 50. So we'll match our specification sheets. I'm pretty sure you're not going to be to keep up with ours because our specification sheets are brutal. Um, and you'll go through the basic testing. White level test, certified screen test, how do you play with the ultra sure throw, your screens register, read with ultra sure throw, demonstrations outside, which are extremely important because that's one of the things I've seen a lot of these fake gray paint demonstrations or LA paint demonstrations, they show the screen. They always show the screen in a fully lit environment, no picture on it, and then they show a picture in a dark environment. What was the point of having the screen with the lights on? It doesn't make any sense. All right, let me see. So we're going to go over to, and this is something else you need to have. From the door, I'm not talking to you screen paint makers because you should know this already. I'm talking to the consumer. Make sure that they post their side-by-side -side demonstrations of either gray versus gray or black versus black, whatever they make at the end of the day. Make sure that is posted directly to the website so you can see that you are not getting cheated. I told you, YouTuber, I got to mention his name because he did what he did and it's real. You can get upset and say, that's not me. It is you got the video showing it's you. I'm not going to go back to the videos. Match the house paint in a video. Match the house paint. So that means that all the customers that ordered his product before that video was done got ripped off. Every single one of them got ripped off. Because all their products will match a house paint. Every single one of them. Now, that is, he is the perfect poster child on why. And I'm not saying because he's a child. Because he's always word poster child. That's what they say. Because he's a perfect example why you have to have those tests done. Because you very well can be getting shipped a container of everyday black paint or an everyday container of gray paint. When customers do a ship back to us, what is one of the tests we do against the product? We do a black versus black. We do certified demonstrations, white level them. We do the whole nines, everything all over again. We do it in batch numbers. We do it in tests. We do it everywhere. This reinsures the customer that they can't make a claim against us by saying, hey, it's nothing more than black paint. If we're testing black paint when it comes through. So when we see your demonstration, you're saying, hey, you can't see the screen. And the screen is showing this black object. We know that's not our stuff. When that product gets over here and we run that projector over top of it, we can tell what it is. Now, this is what usually sometimes this could happen. you got to cover all bases. And the pictures that they show you, <clears throat> sorry about that, could be black paint. Showing a picture of black paint, and this is how your product came up. But what they don't realize is that the serial number sitting on the bottom of the container or the side of the container is to a video that basically showed the product being displayed long before they ever got the product. 
And with that being said, we can show in the demonstrations, it doesn't match black paint in any way whatsoever. Now, customer may not have looked at this. Customer will send back the paint on the request of the ship back. And the request of the ship back, the customer made a claim that the product basically was unwatchable and couldn't be seen because the screen was coming up too dark. This is the very same test we will run again on the ship back. This is why some customers who have made these claims refuse to ship back the item because they know from the door that we're going to be the back this up. They're hoping that they'll take a picture and I'll get afraid to think that I did something wrong and I'll just give them back the money. No, 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 no. My stuff is tested. Bring it back. So when they bring it back and we do it, we contact and say, okay, so what's this? Because we have one of these. What's going on here? Your projector is around 5,000 lumens. Mine's 1,000. 600 by 800, 720p, an SVGA projector. What's going on? We're in a fully lit environment. What's going on? How come my screen over here is showing that it's reading with no problem whatsoever? What is exactly that right there sitting on your screen right now? Now, again, conversations sometimes change. They want to admit to this and the other. I could literally sue you for this. It's called batch number violation. That means you owe me $12,000 in a small claims court. I could have got a, two, two people. I could literally hit with this, but we didn't. So I said, okay, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to send you out. What What do you really want at the end of the day? Well, you know, I'm not ready for the black technology. You know, it's something a little lighter if you had that. You know what I mean? I'll pay for it. No, nope, yeah, we're good on that. We're good. I'm going to send, give me your address, which where you want to ship to. Um, we'll go in and basically uh, send out the black silver, because that's what we had before. And we'll send it to you, free gallon. That's it. That's how that's done. Not, oh, we opened it. I don't know if you mess with it or not. Oh, you're accusing me of tampering with this? Like, really? Because that's what he really just does. He, he accuses you of tampering with it. I don't know if you mess with it or not. You just openly accuse one of your customers. The tank probably didn't even tamper with it. He probably just matched a wall in a house somewhere. Or pretty much probably saw one of our demonstrations and did some experiment and found that it was never tested. So that's why. You have to make sure that those products are tested. Now... Right here, when you come down in our header, you'll see it. See right there? Those are some of the tests on black versus black. This, we had a blackout cloth he gave away for free. As a matter of fact, a fellow uh, went in and did a demonstration saying that you could do the same thing with black fabric next to our product. This is one of the thing, one of the lawsuits he's being hit with for basically spreading false uh, misinformation or slander about our product's technology by saying that you could do the same thing with a black surface. The problem he's going to have this, we have done this demonstration multiple times and can do this in a court of law showing that our products don't match any form of fabric. You've seen that before. I take my black t-shirt off and throw it up in front of the screen. It doesn't match. So this right here is an $80,000 lawsuit for making that statement. This doesn't go to small claims court. This is going to a different set of court rules. For this is something completely different. But this is the reason why these sets are here. Because we gave away a free blackout cloth. It was black. And you have to think that if you give away a black surface and your screen paints black, the customer can say, hey, well, what if the surface he's giving me is free? I can just send him back the paint, get my money back, and just keep the surface. And then that way, I don't have to, um, I can get a free black surface. Or maybe I can do the same thing with a black bed sheet or a black fabric. It'll do the same thing. It won't. That's what that test is for. That's the actual blackout cloth surface that we gave away for free. So what I thought it'd be fun to just cover the screen up. See how well lit my environment is? There's no dark environments at all. Tear the screen and show a demonstration. What happens without that coating? So you have to have these tests. So these tests like this are very important to have on the site. As you know, we got a bunch of red lights wrapped around it. The reason why the demonstration was done about the red lights is because red lights basically disrupt color balance. That's why. Uh, let me see. Another demonstration here. There was a demonstration that I missed. So see that screen in the middle? That's our technology. This is two different forms of fabric. You have to do multiple forms of fabric. Multiple layers of black paint, film, I mean, everything you can think of, you got you to do it. That's a black phantom, by the way. That's the screen we're going to basically bring out and take the other ones out. That's what you're going to be dealing with. But except for mind you, this Phantom 21 is going to be a 77. And this particular technology is going to have that heightener embedded into it. So if this thing is generating this much light at only 
at a, at, at, a, at a category list of 21, imagine when it hits the FOE technology and it has the ability to absorb sunlight at the same time. That's what you're going to be up against. That's what you're going to be dealing with. So if you are terrified about what's coming, you should be. And it's doing it at a thousand lumens. That's a thousand lumen projector that's making contact with that screen. So at a thousand lumens, that screen is generating that much white light that it can turn anything around it dark. It doesn't have our technology embedded into it. And you're going to be going up against an FLE version of that technology. There it is right there. It's a projector. Thousand lumens. See how far I'm from the screen? No ultra short though cheating. So question, are you ready for it? So, for all of you guys, and everybody's been talking all this trash about how my products are not this, and how my products are not that, I'm going to watch you crumble. It's going to be embarrassing. We're going to launch an untested product. I'm not even going to bother testing it. I'm going to have it take your stuff out first, bring it back, have it knock out all tests, and then put it back on the shelf. We don't need it. So, this is just showing you exactly how bad this is going to get. This technology can't absorb sunlight, but at a thousand lumens, it generates that much white light. That's how bright these things were. So the fact that someone got one of these screens to turn dark, you know who you are, Mr. Danny, you made a comment, and Mr. Uh, Danny and, well, I guess we can wear his name, almost like their brothers, Danny and, um, and, and Daniel, you made that comment about that phantom technology, right? There you go. You said that your screen turned it dark. It would have been virtually impossible. This is why you guys are facing million dollar lawsuits because this is what's going to pop up in court. So how is that possible? And look at the distance still, more like in the environment. Yeah. Now to those people that we're going to be putting this product next to, thousand lumens, 16 feet from the screen, and that phantom can generate at 1000 lumens. Now imagine with an FLE embedded into it with the ability to be able to absorb and eat sunlight. That's what you're facing. Which means, if you did make a claim your screen could generate outside, we could take it at 12 o'clock in the afternoon. Can you survive in direct sunlight at 12? It's not real unrealistic. We got the demonstrations doing it. Yep. This thing's a monster. That's the one we chose. That's what the Spartan is. Spartan has that technology. But so Spartan's a little different. Spartan's going to be converted. By the time we reach the stage for the Spartan, they may be converted into Omegas. We haven't decided on that. Or it might be something else we may be designing beyond the, beyond the Omega. We haven't decided yet. But we want something different with that because it's a limited edition. But that's how bright that screen pulls up. So, that is one of the tests we have on our site, which is very important that you need to see. Let's go over here. That's one right there. This is another one where you see me paint into the screen. This is fun. This is also, too, a Spartan technology. Not Spartan, sorry, a Phantom technology. This is a really good one. This is why I paint into the screen with black paint. Question I have to ask is, have how many of you guys with gray paint or even black paint have done this test? None of you have done this. You know why? Because your screen would match it. Well, Danny's would be a problem because if Danny painted in, with black paint, his screen will come up gray because his screen technically can't read black. It can't read any dark colors. The dark gray couldn't do it because it had a problem. It came up gray. And the black person, Series A and Series C, whatever that stuff is, came up gray. So if you paint this onto your screen and put on a star field, this would have the advantage point. Not yours. Because this reads black because it's black paint and yours doesn't. Heck, my screen right here reads black. So in this demonstration, we paint into the screen with some black paint show you what would happen if you with the lights out still won't work and just to show you that yeah this is why you hear me on camera saying gee whiz I'm, i messed my screen up i'm testing black paint against our product and i touch one of the screens i had to repaint the entire thing yeah because this is what will happen because black paint can't generate white light our technology can that's right there for you to see it's actually one of my favorite demonstrations i've done See me painting right into the screen while the projector's on? Look at that. See that big round circle I'm putting in there? So when customers, real quick, when you send me back a picture, and that picture shows that product coming up too dark, it looks just like this. We've done enough of these tests to know what they look like. We know exactly what's laying against that screen. And when I contact you and I say, why do you have black paint laying against our screen? 
and you'll say no that's not that's your paint this is where we request our ship back and when the ship back comes here this is why they fight the ship back this is why because they know that at the end of the day you did something you shouldn't have done now some of the other customers like i said who have ship back products here it's because of what they bought they weren't ready for it and we helped them out with it that's not going to problem with that whatsoever but if you're doing something you shouldn't be doing we're going to find out our stuff is tested now for the other guys in the day we can get over them all day long you can't we don't do that but you can because they technically can't really tell you if the product they don't know if it's going to work or not because they never tested it now you imagine jamie in the demonstration where he matched the network grade 773 can you imagine if he was on a job an on-site job and this company had bought all this paint from him and that happened can you imagine the nightmare behind that would for him it would have been pretty bad pretty pretty bad so that's the reason why these tests must be done if you don't do these tests what's going to happen is the customer doesn't know if he or she is getting what they paid for and this is the reason why when we made the statement about the black versus black we made the statement about the um the statement about the batch number testing that products need to be testing so you know what you're getting this is the reason why they got extremely hostile toward us started cursing out and spamming our accounts and carrying on and acting up because again they don't want to do this and they want to continue to ride their gravy train they don't want it to get derailed well message to you gentlemen i'm not only going to derail your train but i'm going to blow the entire system through the roof it's gone can you all that your stuff is not tested, it's gone. That's it. And I will be taking companies to court. If you can't back up your product as you claim you have, and you have been lying on YouTube, and you have been deceiving customers, I will file a personal lawsuit against you, and I will take you to court. Feel free to take them to court if you want to, because I can back all my stuff up. But keep in mind, you waste my time, I'm going to see you with a counter lawsuit for half a million dollars. $500,000 for wasting my time. Because all my stuff can be backed up. And this is the reason why, like I said, we received that kind of hatred at the end of the day, you're going to receive haters. When haters know that you're doing something, you're doing something right, and you're doing it, they're going to hate on you for it. And that's the reason why we receive the hate. Look, guys, if you could back your products up, why don't you have this on your site? This has to be directly on your site. And when we come in and we show customers, customers, this is what you need to look for. When you go to a site, you should see these tests posted. If they can't post those tests to the site, then don't touch the product. If they can't show you there's a difference between that product <clears throat> sorry, and house paint, don't buy the product. You know what you're getting yourself into. This is the front page. Watch this. This right here, we're going to hit our marketplace. This is on the header. It shows up everywhere. So any page you go to, this is going to be staring you in the face. But let me show you something else. Let's go to the black shop. Pop up to the black shop. We got a spaceman flying around. And I'm going to show you something more. For people who want to argue with me about, see, it's right there in the header. You can't miss it. It's always going to be there. It's going to be always staring you in the face. Let's go past the black shop. Let's look at the bottom. This explains what these tests stand for. They're called black versus black. Do you see these tests popping up? Yeah. We have more of these. A lot more of these. And more to come. Because all the technology we're engineering now all have these tests. This is what the customers should be seeing on the site. This is a reinsurance to the customer that they're not going to get ripped off. In this demonstration, we painted stuff. All this is live. Here's a demonstration against black fabric, more black fabric. This right here, we made four individual black paints to put against our own paint. Why do you think I gave you permission to make my product? We did these tests already. Made them already. We did it already. Right there. There's a guy right now, I don't know if they're going to hit him with lawsuits yet, but he's actually, he's doing a good job. He's doing his job. He's out there taking paints and he's matching certified screens. Because some of them certified screens, I mean, we've done some stuff off camera. I'm just going to leave it at that. And just, just say, we've seen some stuff. So all this stuff, what happens is the gravy train protocol. They've been just telling you the same lies over and over again. Everybody thinks if you get a projector, you have to be in an ambulite controlled environment or your screen's going to wash out. What's the point of having an ambulite rejection screen if you have to control your environment to begin with? It's not ambulite rejection if you're controlling the environment. You have to spend money for expensive projectors and they have to be 4K and they have to have tons of contrast. Attached. All this stuff costs you money. And then to turn around and be in the same dark environment with very little of improvement of what you paid for? Yeah. But the most scary part of it all, and for you um, 
for you for you gray screens out there, you know, you're ranting, you're mad at me. Home Depot, Lowe's, Benjamin Moore, any one of those companies can match your stuff. They're not matching our stuff. We can go in there and buy their black paint all day long. You know why? Because we did the test. That's why. You didn't do the test. So how do you know Home Depot can't match your stuff? How do you know Lowe's can't match your stuff? Or Benjamin Moore, Sherman Williams? How do you know they can't match your stuff? How are you 100% sure know that your product won't match any one of them? What about any of them hobby paints out there? We've done those too. What about that? All right, then. Then you don't know. And if you don't know, that means the customer doesn't know. And the customer doesn't know, they can get ripped off. Now, Jamie gets mad and upset with people and says, oh, you know, I'm not a scammer. Is that any other? My man, you got caught in a live stream matching house paint. Did we remove the product off the site? This is what your company's being sued for. It's being taken to court. This company's being sued for fraud. The minute you found out that your product matched that house paint, did you come on YouTube and say, hey, look, I have to make an announcement. These are the items we're going to be moving off the website due to the fact that in a live stream, the product matched house paint. Did you do that? Did you refund anybody any money? Did you do any ship backs? Any live stream batch numbers? Anything? No, you didn't. You continued to go on and sell the product as if it never even happened. Matter of fact, you've removed the video off your account. We have the recording of you actually removing the video off the account. And much, much worse, came back in, brought back one of the videos, not the one with him wearing the hoodie, because that's more criminal. That's a more, it's a more uh, we had that one. It's a, it's a more um, criminalizing video. He brought back the one that had the least amount of damage, which shows the screen in the dark. And he gets in that video and he says, "You know, our black levels are amazing. You're in a dark environment. You just did that demonstration on a 4K projector with a two million to one contrast sitting on top of it. But you brought the video back after you deleted the video a year." You bring it back, you change the title, and now you say, oh, it has a yellowish tone. That's why you need to see these tests. That's why they're important. And they don't want us to tell you this because they want to continue to ride their gravy train and rip you off. What happened to that customer who had the 4K projector? The 3500 lumen 4K projector. What happened to his screen? Completely washed up, was gone. Who told him he could open up his curtain? Somebody had to tell him. If he bought that paint for somebody, say, hey, look, here's the deal. It only works in the dark. Don't open up curtains because it'll wash out. He would have never opened those curtains up because the screen would have washed out. And you can see clearly he wasn't on there to slander him or make a bad name for Jamie in any way whatsoever. He just opened up the curtains and the screen disappeared. So, he, Jamie don't care. He don't care whether that guy's screen washed out. He don't care the time that that guy put in to build that. It, it, the whole place he built in it was nice. He did a great, nice job putting this place together. He don't care about that. All he cares about, he got his money. That's it. That's all he cares about. So, you don't have these tests, Mr. Fernando. Uh, Mr. Uh, Rogers, you don't have these tests. I'm going to take your company to court. Because you, you're ripping people off. The minute you put a PayPal shopping cart on there, and the minute you start charging people, and you're taking currency from people at the end of the day, and your stuff is not tested, we need to see you in court. Now, as you notice, if you look at the bottom of the comments section, you'll see a lot of emojis. I'm not reading that. I can't see it because where my camera's sitting at, I can't see right there because it's blocking it from the stand. And I don't care to read it anyway. The reason why we left the chat room open because we knew individuals were going to come in. They're going to be hostile. They're going to be angry. They're going to be upset. And they're going to lash out. They can't test their products. They can't back it up. And this is how they act. Well, gentlemen, just to let you know, whatever's in there, remind you, it's on the phone. You have an open investigation on you. I'll take the phone and everything because i got to be downtown today. And I'll walk over to the FBI and bring it up. That's all. They're just going to snap a shot of it and go through it. That's all. That's it. So make sure you don't leave any death threats or racial slurs in there. I'm carrying on. You're already in enough trouble as it is. You're upset and angry, and you're mad because I'm right. Your stuff needs to be tested. If I go to your site right now, I guarantee you there's no videos there. I'm guaranteed we're going to be met with a lot of cursing, a lot of carrying on, very unprofessional. Matter of fact, we are. I'm going to pop right on over to your site, Mr. Fernando. We won't find anything on there. You had that video on your website. On your website, there's a video right on this uh, YouTube channel of that stuff. It says it's a yellowish tone product. But it's not on your site. How come those videos are not on your site? Now, you see the paint that I put in there, Jamie? Yeah, it's the same way you made it. See that? I made the same thing. I made this video came out before he did those demonstrations. 
We already knew you couldn't make our stuff because we made her we made stuff to put against our own product. So we made four of these right here for you guys. And then we went in when we got done, took the products and we painted them down to a surface. Let's see. Now, what he was supposed to do, he was supposed to make paints and put against the screen. Matter of fact, he has a product for free. Metallica Mix 2.0 is a free mixture. Shows you how to make it with two tablespoons of black paint and two, um, two white paint. He has not made that product and put it against his site at all, period. Now, when we take him to court, he can easily argue and say, well, you know, hey, look, my stuff has changed. It's different, so and so and so, even though they will be requesting tests, which I'm going to help you with this. I'm going to ship you down a special box. I'm going to let you know it's being shipped down to you. Courts will have a copy of this letter and to back your claim because we're, we're accusing you of committing fraud against your customers. So this product, this box is going to contain sealed containers. Nothing's going to be open. We'll record everything before we send it down. And you'll have a container of the Apple Barrel paints, Slip Silver, Network Gray 773, uh, Bear Silver Screen, and a special mixture which is going to be your own paint from the Free Metallica Mix 2.0. And all you have to do is take these products, paint them down to the surface, and do these demonstrations. That's it. Now, if you refuse to do it, we already know you can't do it. But if you refuse, it's just more evidence for us in court. It's going to be a signature and a firm. You're the only one that can sign for it. And if you sign for it, we'll know on our end that you did sign for the product. If you never do the demonstration, we know you do have it, or maybe you threw it away. And if you send it back to me, then guess what? You just never did a period. That's all. So when we go to court, not only do we have proof, even more proof that we already have, we have proof that we did give you the opportunity to back your product. As I said before, I did give you the opportunity to send me down black paint, and we never received it. You have to back it up, man. It's interesting because, you know, I had to request this black paint multiple times and never received it, but yet we make a comment about sending him gray paint, and he loses it. Literally, literally, even fake the move. He literally faked moving. The key from basically having that paint come to his front door. That's how terrifying. Now, if a person's going to go through all that, get on YouTube, sit on a bed, and fake like he moved, to keep paint from coming to his front door to do testing, you're really going to give that guy money at the end of the day? Yeah. All right, so here we are. This is our technology right there. Big white screen. And this is the paint we made. So there's the paint we made right there. Yeah, because you kept putting white paint. So in a demonstration we saw you do, you literally did what we just did to make the paint to put against our product. You basically went in and put white paint, mica, some other stuff. You put in water thinking you was making my product. I made the exact same thing, but I made it better. As a matter of fact, I did this demonstration. Let me see. This demonstration, get it clear on this demonstration. Let's see. Let's see. We have that there. I'm going to go back and see the video. I should have hit it differently. Uh, let me see. That's the containers in front. That's why. Yeah, this is interesting, Jamie. I have to hunt through my videos to find a video I just had because we did literally that many. And you haven't done, you've done three of these, they all failed, and you turned around and deleted the videos off your account. That's when we painted the screen, so that wouldn't be it. I think it's this one right here. No, that wouldn't be it. Where is it? We just had it. No, that's another one we did. See what I got to go through? I've got to hunt through to find one. You don't, you, you haven't done any of them at all, period. Well, you've done some, but you know what I'm talking about. They've been removed off this account. Uh, let me see. We just had it. Where did we just lose that thing? It's a few minutes ago. We just had it. Let me see for a minute. That's music. Let me see if it didn't pop up here. No, no, because it wouldn't have popped up here at all, period. We'll find it. It's in here somewhere. Jeez. I mean, oh, here it is right here. I'm going to say, wait a minute. Wait, is that us? It is us. Let me see something for a minute. No, no, no. That's the other demonstration we did. That wouldn't be it either. I'm going to pause that one. i got to hunt this thing down. It's in here. 
Um, let me see. But we can use fabric. That was another one we did. Really? I don't know what I lose it. And this is right here. It's FLE technology. Already tested before we even launched it. These are the tests on the TV screens. Already here. Before we even got a chance to launch that screen, those tests were already done. Where are you? Okay, first things first. No, nope, that's another one. That wouldn't be the motorized projection screen. That would be the fabric. Sorry, people. I gotta hunt this thing down. We have it in here. I literally just was doing a demonstration. How is it in here? My goodness. Lost in all these videos we have in here. No, it's black paint again. That's drawn into the screen. That's fabric. That's drawn into the screen. That's more fabric. Fabric and drawn into the screen. That right there is based on the white level test. Fabric right there. That's downstairs with micro mesh fabric and every other nonsense we ran against the screen. There's more test right there. And that's a seven technology right there. So that wouldn't be it right there. Here we go. Man, I couldn't find it. Literally, because I had to go through all these videos. I'm not trying to brag here. We literally do that many. This ain't nothing. This is nothing. Wait till we show you the page we're putting in. We have a black versus black page on our testing we're putting in. We literally have to build an entire page for this thing. Because mind you, all the technology we're engineering has black on black tests on them. Every single a bit of it. So the page we have here is not big enough. We literally have to build an entire page for it. Jamie. Uh, the other fellow, uh, Danny, you should have this on your site. The fact that I can go to my site and do this and you can't, that shows you right there your product is not it's not worthy. So this right here is the product. Here, let me see. Get this video to play. Play. Let's see what's going on here. Here we go. I'm going to go to YouTube real quick and bring the video up to show you. See, now... You did that test against my making my products when and I think it was uh, this year, right? Here we go. See that at the bottom? See the date on that? That was two years ago. Two years ago, we did those tests. So two years ago, we did these tests showing that our product, if you try to make it, how hard it is to make. We made it. We're the people who made this black technology made four different versions of paint on how people usually try to think it's made and put against our product. So two years ago, this demonstration was already done, already proven. You come along this year and probably a year before that and come and go, oh, look, um, this is how you make this product. You put some mica in it with some water. And that's why I'm sitting there laughing on camera like, no, buddy, you, you, you got this wrong. We did this two years ago. See what I mean? This is why I said at the end of the day, I think you may have some memory issues or whatever's going on in your head. I don't know. But we did that already. So the demonstration you just showed, what we call a cry for help. That's what it's called. And what did I do? I said, go ahead, you know what? Make my product. Because we can tell you to make it because we've seen you try to do it multiple times and fail. And what happened? You try to make it, you failed, came back in, you talked to the other guy, uh, uh, Daniel. This is the guy, um, it's Daniel is uh, the guy from... Um, uh, Solid Wake 5. He comes in and he basically makes sense this nor paint over. We make that too. And you both fail at making the product because the product doesn't come out dark. It comes up a kind of a grayish color. And I'm like, our stuff is black, not gray. And then when they couldn't make it correctly, then they try to label our stuff. It's got to be gray. It has to be gray. That's sad. So I went in and made a black version of it, which we did in this demonstration already. And uh, it didn't work because we did it already. See? We done it. We made it live, right on camera. So everything we've done, literally, so much testing on our stuff. Everything that the naysayers do, they just do repeat stuff because they got nothing left. Every video that you have done against our product, we have test demonstrations back in our products. This is why when we take you to court. You're not going to be able to back up your claim that you're saying our product does such and such and so. I'm going to have you paint my screen up in that courtroom. You're going to become our own personal Picasso. You're going to take that and you're going to paint that screen up and show us the same way. I want it to look the same way you did in your video. Because if you don't, you're going to lose a lot of money in this process. And you're going to face some serious jail time. Because keep in mind, the charges that we have for them with the FBI are different from the charges for fraud charges against the company. The FBI is involving personal. This is against our company you're going to be charged for. And this is fraud charges, which means this is not going to small claims court. This is going to civil and federal. Whole different section. 
So, when we tell them you can make our products, yeah, you can make it because you know why? We've done these tests already. We know what the reaction is going to be. You don't have the right element to make our product. And then when you come back in and say, hey, I made this product for 89 cents, buddy, we've done this one already before. That's just a, it's a desperate attempt. You can do that. So the fact that this test right here is sitting on the website for anyone to come in and watch and yours is not. Let's go pop to his site and show. First, before we do that, I want to um, come out of here. And you can check these out you want. They're right directly to our website. You can check them out. They're all here. Much as you want to check out. And we do these demonstrations all the time. As a matter of fact, the FLE technology, I've taken off my shirt doing the screen so many times. It's not even funny. All right, so let's go over here. And let's show you why we're pushing why this should be screen paints need to go through these tests. Why it's important. This right here, if you go to our Christian Witch site, it's called the blacklist. In the blacklist, we have substantial evidence against this individual committing these crimes. Um, we have Danny's going to be going in there pretty soon because we have on Danny's basically we have products that were made mainly out of water. Um, products of screen streaking, changing color, stuff like that. And these are videos you won't be able to find because these videos were removed. Blacklist started, we started testing off fake knockoff projectors who warned customers to stay away from these machines. But then as we started doing more investigation on basically Jamie, started finding all kinds of crazy stuff about him. This is a free screen paint mix product you can make for free. It's a challenge attached to him. We've requested him to make this several times to put against his products. He sells this. He actually used to give this away for free, but now he sells it. And this was a challenge. It was never done. So in that container that we will be sending over to you will be this mixture right here. We'll make it live on camera. We'll seal everything up and send it over to you for you to do that test because it has to be done. You are selling products to your customers that you used to give away for free. This is a demonstration we did, the first one, on the Network Grade 773. So in this demonstration, I start thinking like, hey, what are all these great paints coming out? We've got so many great tones out there on the market. What would happen if one of these guys decide to just send you over everyday house paint? How would you know this at all? Now, mind you have to remember, he sells the product for 60 bucks. You're really, I'm not trying to rank Jamie on you. I don't want you to get upset about this, but it's true. You're not going to make much with 60. You can't make anything with it because, again, your product really doesn't prove its weight in gold. So you're, you have to charge the minimum amount for it, $60. Anything that you take to this product it's going to take away from your 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 gross on what you're making all right so if you buy containers it's going to take away from that if you're buying this whatever if you have to take things out of pocket now what he doesn't understand about the whole financial business is if you have to take extra money out of your account to pay for an item to be shipped out then you're not really making any money you're losing money the item itself is supposed to be able to make the money to be able to ship the product to be able to uh, market the product all that comes from the product and then leaves you something left over what you make that's your profit what you make but if you have to take extra money out of your pocket to support a company you're really not making any money at all that's like working another job to support another job you know what i mean and still doing that where most people work another job support this company because they know this is the investment this is going to make more money than this job this is a mediocre job and then what they take that when they invest into this and this part is starting to learn to support and feed itself and make more money than this then they leave this job go to this job so college kids do. They work a job to pay for college or books or whatever they got to do within the day because, you know, this is just a time being job and this is a job that's going to make the money. But if you're basically working hard this job, twice as hard to support this and this is not doing anything but cost you more money, then this is nothing but a problem. And that's what you're doing. So with 60 bucks, anything that you add to that will take away from that. $17 for just a quart of black paint, which is probably a lot more now because things are much more expensive. That leaves you $40 left over and you still haven't shipped the product yet. So $8.49 will be taken out of that. So that's a huge chunk to take out of what you're getting. So again, it would be cheaper and more profitable if you were to take it off a shelf. Because on a shelf paint, there is no black that has to be added to it. It has a perfect tone attached to it and it's cheap. Now you try to make it sound like they product that you got was expensive no sherman william makes something called super paint you can look it up call them up it's called super paint it's much cheaper than the product that he pulled 
trying to make it sound like it's very expensive, it's going to cost you 40 bucks. But technically, under your receipt, it costs you $29.99, and you got a $1.50 discount off of it, so you really didn't pay what you thought you paid for it. And if you're getting a gallon, they're not going to charge you $30 per quart, they're going to give you like a $10, $15 dif difference. Because that'd be freaking nuts. So, as you see in the demonstration, here, this is the product here on the floor. This is before he did the test. So, I'm curious to see if I paint this on here. We're not looking for a match. We're looking to see how close we come to matching the paint. As I said before, we have to do these demonstrations ourselves. I will put down my demonstrations on my products versus black paint, black fabric, and just about anything else you can throw against our screen. Uh, we've done these tests already before. As a matter of fact, the screen paint will come in handy for us with some tests. Outside. All right, Jamie, so you can get an understanding of what I'm trying to explain to you here. Because I know right now I can see it in the comment section. You're very hostile. You're very upset. You're very agitated. Let me explain something to you. This is in no way to retaliate from the dumb stuff that you do. This is what court's for. That's what that's for. This is to show people exactly how you do business and why these tests are extremely important and why you have to do these tests. You don't see me on camera calling you curse words and I'm talking to you and this is how you act. You don't know how to act like an adult. So you have to do these tests. If you don't want to do these tests, then guess what? You have no, should not be selling screen paint. I left an open mic for you. If you want to come in and talk, act like an adult, get rid of the emojis and own up to your responsibility. Your product matched the house paint. You should not be selling it. And this is the reason why your company's being taken to court for fraud. But let's show you what, what's going on. Because I want him to understand. Because he take he goes he goes full camera on me all the time. And I want to understand that this is not a retaliation. This is just showing it why you need to do this. Why merchants should test their products. And what the customer needs to look for. Why the batch number is important. All right. I'm sure at the end of the day, the gray green paint products are basically network gray. Got a couple more that's coming in. And this is an SW. I think it's a 773. So. I'm curious to see if I paint this on here. We're not looking for a match. We're looking to see how close it would come to matching the paint. As I said before, we have to do these demonstrations ourselves. I will put down my demonstrations on my products versus black paint, black fabric, and just about anything else we can throw against our screen. Uh, we've done these tests already before. As a matter of fact, the screen paint will come in handy for us. All right, so let me go where we pop the top. So, like I said, uh, curious what would happen. Now remember, I said I'm not looking for an identical match. We see how close this stuff is going to come to it. Because before, like I said, when screen paints came out, these didn't exist. Tones didn't exist. You had the bare 1050 and you had black flat paint. That's how all of it was made. Later on, these things started popping up. These tones started popping up. And as I'm walking through Home Depot, I'm like, gee whiz, like, this stuff could easily match the screen paint. And that's where it popped up in my head. Now, it's 60 bucks on what you're selling your product for. Again, the more money you save, the more money you can keep at the end of the day. And if you match one of these at the end of the day, then there's a 100% chance you could be pouring this off the shelf. And if you know, sooner or later, well, then you're working for nothing. Start shipping you down great paint. And at the end of the day, can you really tell mm -hmm. which one's which at the end of the day? Even if it has a slight little difference or hiccup, is it really going to make a difference between you paying $23 a gallon or $80 a quart? So let's see. This is All when right, he's charging 80 bucks. Exactly. Now that's called super paint. As you notice, he doesn't have the same label as mine because he came in and said, well, it's much more expensive than he said. No, that's super paint. That's the economy. That's much cheaper. And it has good coverage too. Now listen to what I say. Man, this is not going to go well. This is not going to go well. Look at that right there. I told you. That's not good. I can tell from looking at that, that is not good at all. Perfect tone. That's with nothing in it. No black, no glitter, nothing. That is not a good sign. That is actually a perfect color right there. All right. Now, mind you, Jamie, I did this demonstration far before you did it. I did it six months to a year before you. 
and you got on camera, you ranted and carried on, so oh, no, no, my stuff would never match this, that, and the other. As a matter of fact, we had the Cinemax right over there. We have it right there in that container, right over there sitting in that box. And you ranted on camera saying, you don't have my Cinemax, you made the label, my stuff would never match. You remember saying all that? I wish I could find those videos. I should have dubbed them. But anyway, customer got upset because he didn't like the fact that Jamie sent this over black paint. And he felt he didn't do a fair transaction. So he sent this over his instead. And thank you so much for that customer. So when the product got here and we showed up, we had Cinemax here. He went into this huge rant that we never had and this product would never match. You know what's interesting about this, Fernando? The fact that this product right here matched what was in there and the demonstration you did later on also matched. Except for the difference in this demonstration, we were able to match your Cinemax in the personal mix and your um, Cinemax personal mix and Metallica mix. We did three of them. You only did one. He's going to have to outperform this on a between night and day. It's not going to go well at all. So we go in, paint the screen in. Here's some paint the screen in. One coat application. Even though it's a cheaper paint, it went on nice and smooth, as you can see. All right, now I'll paint it up. Now behind that screen is our black technology. As he claims, he says, our products come up too dark and they're unwatchable. I don't think our screen is having a problem. I tell you, in the day, great screens are obsolete. I don't even know why people got them on their walls to begin with. They're so let's obsolete. come over here. Washed out, can't pick up images. And this is what How came up. That That's why so right here, we have three of your mixes up here. All three of them has matched the Network Gray 773 with no problem whatsoever. All of them. You did one. So you got on camera and you ran and carried on about how we didn't have your product and yet you've matched that product. Look at that. Wait for a minute. Color levels, you matched. Washed out just like the house paint did. Exact same thing. The problem is you have people who take these mixes, they'll go in a dark environment. Cause you look at my environment compared to yours, Fernando. My environment is very well lit. Your environments don't sit like this. So you go into a poorly lit environment, high powered projector, and claim that all that's coming from your screen paint. It's not coming from your screen paint. Did the white levels too, did the whole nine yards. You matched everything. So knowing that, even lights out, You matched. On every level, you matched. Which means, instead of the customer at the time, that paint was around $80, they could have went out and got the super paint for $23, and they could have painted whatever the frick they wanted with that. It's a, it's a gallon of it. You're ripping your customers off. And this is what you're going to court for. Now, let's go over here and let's show what you did. Now, this is what we did. This was uh, six months to a year ago. This is Fernando right now. Um, let me see, this is one more. Here we go. Here we go. And mind you, scammed your customers here too. This is the customer has a personal mix over your screen washed out on a 4K projector. But let's come over here. This is the more criminal demonstration he doesn't want you to see. And this is the reason why, when I say that he is the perfect poster child for why screen paints must require test. Gray versus gray, black versus black. It's very important so the customer doesn't get ripped off. This is your video, right, Fernando? Right here. Crow's Cinemax Mix versus the Sherman Williams Network Gray 773, and it's right around the time we hit the 38s. Now, this is missing right here. He took all that off. He brought the video back. Well, this, not this video. He actually, this was the title to the first one. There was two of these videos. He got rid of this one, took the title and put it on the second one. And then when the second one started, because we told him to put the second one onto your site, be honest with your customers. He got rid of the second one. We caught him in the live stream, removing it. And then he renamed it, the second one, that one. And then when he removed that one later on to a year, he popped it back up again and changed it. It has a yellowish tone. None of those videos ever hit the site, the website, because you can't have them on here, because if you come in here and see that, you're not buying that stuff. You're going to buy the house paint. 
Now you mean to tell me, let's get reality here. Look at this right here. See this right here? Say this right here, this screen costs you $5,000, right? And this screen right here costs you 200. Which one are you buying? And mind, he's right on top of the screen. If you're on top of the screen that close, a finger distance from the screen, and you're reading that, what's going to happen when you're 11 to 12 feet from a screen? You're not going to see anything at all. And this is what happened when he did the test. So we asked him multiple times to do this test. He fought it. He did fight it quite a bit. And then the customers got tired of him fighting it, making excuses, and they pressured him. They contacted him because he sat there and said that, you know, customers requested over and over again. Yeah, because they wanted to know. He did that demonstration and it matched. And this is the reason why when we go into his channel, we try to find um, customers after they found out about this, we don't find anything. We find customers that date back from five to a year ago, but everybody knows what it is. Now, Fernando, you can sit there and you can cry and whine about this and explain something to you. This video is going before a judge. So you're gonna to have to explain to a judge that you're showing a different product that you didn't rip off your customers. We all know you did. He said something about the contrast levels, right? Different contrast levels? Yeah. Sure. Now, this is a video he doesn't he never want you to see. He's in the video. He's showing the container. Mind the container is sealed. He didn't go inside of it. I'm pretty sure he wanted to, but he couldn't go inside that container. And he believed 100%. He honestly believed 100% that his product was not going to match. He really believed it. He thought that the tests we did were false. No, our tests were real. Or we're at normal speed of image, we're not slow moving. Now, found guilty on these charges, he's going to be ordered to pay restitution, which means he has to pay back the customers who he chipped off or screwed over, sorry, with this paint. He cheated. He's going to pay that money back. And along with this, we also will be bringing up the Frankenstein on how you basically made money off a company and you didn't pay him any royalties. And also it's who it's brought up in, in the claim. And it shows bad business practicing. Now I do, res I expect for him in the comment section to respond back to emojis. That's usually what, how Fernando reacts, he does that. So we're normal, He's used, we're used to that. Here's the receipt, bearing the receipts. Uh, Jamie, this is you in the video. Uh, to come on here and to chat and curse and carry on and act up and the mode, this doesn't help you at all. Period. You're actually incriminating yourself. This is you. I didn't make any of this up. This is this is all you. There's a receipt right there showing that he paid. He said four kept saying forty dollars. No, you paid twenty nine dollars and ninety nine cents worth a dollar fifty discount. That's what you paid for. But he wanted to keep hyping the price up. As if you're going to pay all this money. You're better off buying from me because this is going to cost you this much money. No. You got it for $17. Bucks, you got it for $29.99. And that's still cheaper than your court. $29.99 for a court. $60 for a court. It's still cheaper. So there's the screen. Paint it in. And then this is the moment of truth where the screen blends in. Okay, so what happened? Let's see what that oh, information. Get out of here. What happened? So, Jamie, I want you to understand this. 
If you feel at the end of the day that, oh, he's just picking them, just poor me, poor me, poor me. No, you are the perfect poster child on why these screen paints need to be tested. This is a great example for people who are making products and want to get into the field, what not to do, and for customers, what they need to ask for when basically inquiring about a screen paint product, because this can happen to you. Now you imagine all the customers who bought this product when they saw this video demonstration. Mind you, his policy on his website is strictly designed to rip you off. I read through some of the other ones. Danny has a policy where at least he does try to help you, but also too in its policy, it says that the product is defective. The product, it, problem is this product is not tested properly and it is going to come out defective as we saw in the two demonstrations with Danny, Silent Wake 5, or Dan, sorry, we're just going to call it McAfee. It's much easier because I get him and the other guy's name, McAfee. When they were both doing the, was doing the demonstration. He shook the can up a couple of times vigorously. He stared it, and that product still came out gray and didn't come out the color correctly. So that would be considered as not as described or defective, which means you would have problems at the end of the day. If a customer comes to you and say, hey, this range gain, how do I acquire the higher gain? They're not going to ask for the lower one. You have to be to show them and show proof that they are achieving this task. If not, again, another claim against you. So again, you have to be the back of them. But look at this right here. Just look at this. You see how he puts his hand in front of the screen that way? So he can make it look like this so you can't really see what you're seeing. That's what he's doing. When you're doing a demonstration, you're not supposed to be anywhere in this section at all whatsoever. Because, again, your body moving across the screen, you can basically disrupt the demonstration. Your hand should be nowhere near in front of the camera in this section. Well, Jamie, you can come in and laugh about it. I mean, but again, you know, the sad thing about it is that this is a reason why people aren't buying from you anymore. It's because, you know, you're not coming in like a professional. You're laughing about it. You think this is funny. You rip people off. You rob people at the end of the day. And this is your reaction by laughing about it. And this is going to be used in court against you. Because it clearly shows your reaction and how you really treat your customers at the end of the day. How you don't care about them and all you care about is just taking their money. You didn't come in and say, hey, look, I issue an apology. I'm sorry for the way I've treated my customers. I'm going to try to do better. I'm going to make better products. I'm going to make sure myself is tested. So and so and so. You didn't come in like that. You come in with a bunch of emojis. People paid for this stuff at the end of the day. And you find it funny. That's good to know. Look at this. Run watch. See where his hand is at? Your hand should be nowhere near in that area right there. Look at that. matched so that's why he dropped the price to 60 bucks brought it down to 60 bucks still this is cheaper i got a gallon for 17 dollars as a matter of fact there's a couple of paints that match this product but you know he's not gonna do any of those the slip silver he didn't want to go near that with a 10 foot pole so that's the reason why you know perfect example perfect example why screen paints need to be tested because, again, you don't want to get ripped off. And as you can see how Jamie, that's him right there in the room, but the, no matter what he changes his YouTube account to, that's him um, reacting from this. Because I don't know anybody else that makes a screen paint is going to come in and react like that for you. Why would they? I wouldn't even bother coming in and react. Why would I? I don't, that's not my product at the end of the day. That's not me up there on camera getting caught. Why would I come in here and react to that? That's you with your fake account reacting that way. So that shows the customer right from the door that... You will rip them off and laugh in their face at the same time because you showed no remorse. You're coming at me, buddy. I'm not the one to come at the end of the day. You feel slamming me. How is slamming me going to hurt me at the end of the day? It's hurting you. You don't need to know how to come in professionally. How cursing me out and carrying on toward me. You're getting mad and showing emotion over something that you know you did wrong. People only get upset about things that they know they're guilty about. The store sister and says, hey, we got some thief that thievery going on. Some things are missing. We're going to put some new security cameras in. People don't steal, don't care. But people who do steal are going to get upset and get angry about this. They're going to be the most complainers about it. Like, why you got to put cameras in here? Like invasion of my privacy. Like, somebody off my face all the time. Like, why do we need that? 
It's pointless to even have the discussion because the minute you walk outside the store, you got 30,000 cameras staring you in the face. The minute you walk out the door, go to the gas station, go to the bank, ATM machine, library, McDonald's, any place you go, you got a camera staring you in the face. Hey, you got people walking around with cameras right now. You're on recording 24 7. So to have that argument and be upset about that means you were doing something you weren't supposed to be doing. And that's the reason why you don't want the cameras in there. You're protesting. So coming in here and showing up that kind of energy clearly shows that, again, you got caught and got busted. That's what happened. But that's not about that. The part I'm trying to get here across through you, Jamie, is that you have to make sure your products are tested. And for people making new screen paint products, do not follow this example because this example can get you sued and a lot of trouble. He's going to go to court for this. He's going to be sued for a couple of things. The reason why he went in and did a fake move. He pretended that he moved. He left. He didn't go anywhere. He was there the entire time. This is a video that we it popped up. Um, we got some emails from him stating that he had moved, he had left, and there's no point in having the police come. There's no point in, in filing a lawsuit. There's no point in sending up the gray paint, which he doesn't want to do, that he has moved. And he didn't move. He was in the same place the entire time. If you zoom up on the camera, you'll see that there are holes in the wall. And that's the first thing I said when I saw the video. I was like, wait a minute. Why do you have holes in your wall to a place that you just moved into? Because anyone's ever moved, you will know that, see right there? Anyone's ever moved, you will know from the door that when you move into a place, if you want to get your security deposit back, you better make sure your place is mint. And even when after you, even if you have mint, this is mint, you did a good job of it, right? They're still going to come in and they're still going to repaint everything. Because that's what they do. They got a maintenance crew that comes in, cleans, fix, whatever, get it ready for the next person so they don't complain about it. So who moves into a place and you got visible holes right here that you can see all over the wall? On top of that, these two lights here, they actually pop up in the video. The difference between the benefit of a gray screen versus a white screen. They pop up in the video. I've seen this place before. So he removed the, the pictures, slid the bed over here, pulled up his phone, and talked about how he moved. Moving is such a pain in 2024. So let the camera bounce there. He faked his move. And then went in customers to tell them, that, hey, and moving in 2024 is a pain in the butt. Having to start a new fresh, how can you do that? How can you do that and know you're still in the same spot? Now, you can sit there and say, well, you know, hey, you know, you did it. No, I didn't do it. Actually, any place I moved to, I actually showed the truck, moving to the new place, the announcement where we went to, all that. The only time I didn't do it is when I was here and I moved to the other place because we have stalking charges on you. Yeah, this individual is stalking us. So that's why we have stalking charges. And it would look really stupid for me and be in court and say, well, your honor says, says, well, you're being charged for stalking. Did you move? Yeah, we did move. We moved in a location where nobody knows where we're at. That's how it's done. It's not, oh, we moved in a location. We did a bunch of YouTube videos showing everybody where we're at. So these guys contacting and beckoning me talking about, oh, you, you're afraid to tell where you live at? That's stalking. You're creepy. You're very creepy, dude. We're not going to go and show you all the other stuff, but let's show you this. Okay, so we told you, try to hide evidence, fake this move. And this is, I'm trying to show you that not only we're showing you this, because I'm trying to paint a picture of the individual that you're dealing with if you happen to put a credit card or your address through his company. And this company, keep in mind, has a fraudulent LLC. So that's something else. It's not even in good standing. We sue him. He doesn't have limited liability for his business because there's documents missing off that he didn't properly file correctly. But we're not going into that right now. So that's the reason why this paint that when we launch it, if you're doing any faulty business practices, your stuff hasn't been tested correctly, you've been lying on camera, that phantom technology is going to basically expose you. That's what's going to happen. All right. Not just him, everybody. But the reason why we come at him for this, because he did the demonstration. He literally did the demonstration. He matched the house paint. He did it in two different occasions. He did it over here with the personal mix. He matched again. And this is the reason why I said that he is a perfect poster child for why, and I call him a child, why uh, screen paints have to be tested. Because you as a consumer, you want to go through this? You want to get ripped off? 
guy literally walked out of a Home Depot with the container in his hand and then turned around and did this on camera. Matched the screen. That's the personal mix. If you imagine, you sit at home, you just pay for this stuff and you saw this demonstration. What would go through your head? Now, to warn you, when we go to his site, these products are still being sold. We do expect to receive some kind of hostility because he does carry on and go on the site. Probably get some curse words, death threats. Last time we got pornography, all kinds of weird stuff. So we do expect that. If he doesn't pop up, then maybe he's trying to be professional. But, you know, it's hard to try to be professional when he's in here ranting and carrying on and acting up. But look at this. Look at the car. Look, look at this. Light on camera and set, it doesn't match any movie whatsoever. What do you see? Yeah, that's why they need to be tested. Hmm. All right. Oh, by the way, when I made the statement about your bed, yeah, it's right here. See? Two lights on each side, here and here and here. I saw that 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 image before. That's how I know you didn't move. And there's holes right here, and there's a hole right there. So that's how I knew when I first saw it. Wait a minute, I've seen that somewhere before. And when you said you moved, this is actually in your apartment. You never went anywhere. And then when I saw the two holes in the wall, and I said, he didn't go anywhere. He's in the same spot. We went back. The video was put, was marked as, uh, there's a hole right there at the bottom. The video was marked as members only. So you got busted and got caught Oh, my goodness. They're going to go through lengths like this. This is why you have to make sure it's tested. They're doing stuff like this. This kind of activity. You have to make sure it's tested. And this is the reason why they get upset. This is actually pester. This, this is some other crazy stuff. This is all post office draw charges that were filed against them. All right. Uh, let's go over to, let me see. Um, I'm trying to think here. Hmm. Let's see. Let's go to. Uh, oh, wait, 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 there's something else I want to go. Should we do that? There's something else we have to do. Have to do this. Uh, let's go to. Um, where's it anyway? It's under somewhere. Let's see. Uh, Now, why don't you listen to this? This is a video, the one I told you that he removed off his channel and brought it back. And the reason why I tell you all this is because, Jamie, I know you feel like we're just attacking you. No, what we're doing is basically showing why, and merchants who do business like you, why these tests are required. Why, why we push batch numbers, why we push these tests, why they're required. Because if you're practicing this kind of bad business, God forbid you got other people out there practice this kind of business, customers are going to get ripped off. There we go. So would I use it with my P2 projector, even though it's two million to one contrast and all that stuff? No, I would not use it. Sure, with that people. Ugh, I just missed a little bit. Come on, back right. Sorry about that. I'm going to go back to that in a few minutes. Hold on. So, what are the results on this? What is the point of me basically shrinking right, let me, this? Let me tell you. There we go. Sorry about that. Let's go back. It doesn't produce... That's better. So, what are the results on this? All right, let me let me tell you what the result is. It doesn't produce. I don't know. It, it, I mean, for being a great screen, the black levels is 
Now remember, we just saw this when we were in the red hoodie and its contrast levels were extremely poor, but now he's came in the black levels work perfectly fine, but he's in a dark environment. Again, this is why testing is important because if they're going to lie on this level, I'm just showing you the deceitfulness, how they're lying to you. If they're going to lie on this level, the tests are required. Justin. Sorry about that. Not there from my projector. So would I use it with my P2 projector, even though it's two million to one contrast and all that stuff? No, I would not use it, okay? First of all, you know, the whites are really off. It's it's like an ivory color, like I said. They're really off. Um, the blacks are not even there, okay? Uh, color, yeah, of course. It's, you can see a different color. But look at that versus that. You, you could tell right away. Um, but other than that, a all around solid picture, I'm not going to get from this. I'm not. See, everything's kind of yellowish. It's yellowish because that's the sunset right there in the picture. So you get the sunset over here and some of it over here. You got it up there. That's where the main part of the sunset hits because you can see the bright areas where the sun is right there. And you're trying to blame that on the screen. That is pretty bad. Compared to this, different tones. You know, it just doesn't, you know. Look at the white levels. The white levels are ivory. Yeah, the white levels matched. And then look how dark the environment is. Watch this. And I could do more, um, like showing you black levels, which it's gonna fail completely. I want to show you some bright scenes. And look how the water reflects. Look at that. That's a house paint. But the whites are off, colors off, no black levels, and for one quart. If you don't have a discount, it's uh, like 40 bucks almost, 37.50. No, it was not 37.50 from what we saw in the receipt. It was $29.99 with a dollar 50 discount. So you keep upping it to make it sound much more expensive, but it's not. Um, where you're at, your you know, taxes is my battery or something, right? But but yeah. Okay. Look at that green versus this versus that. See how yellowish that is, like dirty? It's just off, guys. I'm sorry, but it is. I wish I could, wish you could see it closer. We are gonna see it closer, because you know why, Mr. Fernando? When I take you to company to court, you're gonna do that in the courtroom. In front of me and the judge and everybody else, you're gonna do that right in the courtroom. And if you don't show up for this, these are criminal charges involved, which you have to show up. So we'll see it. We'll definitely see it. As a matter of fact, I gave him a little bit of an experiment. How about you paint that up and the other one, take it outside, go in a corner, and record the whole thing and have a survey on which people can tell the difference between your product and the house paint. Knock me out and do one of those because I can do our black versus black all day long outside. Not a problem. There you go. Now, this video right here, why is it not on the website for you to see? It's right there on his channel. How come he's never posted this to his site? You know why? can't put that on there nobody in their right mind would touch that stuff people see it now won't even touch it samson oled demo and to sit there and think that you're going to fool people thinking you see a contrast level we sat there right there and watched on the blacklist of your product failing to bring up a, a basic uh, LG logo. But you sat there and said you wouldn't use it. Your contrast was like that fast, that quick. Looks like I picked up your contrast levels there with no problem. I don't see a problem there. But 
that you just said it wouldn't pick up. And it also, both of them faded. Picked up there. Now, if they're going to lie on that level, if they're going to cheat you on that level, then you need to request test. And I'm glad Jamie came into the room. I'm glad 100% he came into the room. Because I wanted to shoot, show you the kind of attitude this guy really has. He's a different person when he gets in front of the camera. He lies. And he's in here upset and angry. You're watching the en energy of him being upset and angry. Because he's being exposed. Why are you upset? It's your video. Right? No one came in and put a gun to your head and said, Hey, you got to do this video. Or you don't have a choice. No one did that. You did this at free will. So why are you upset about something that you did at free will? Hmm. Look at the white levels. He said the white levels were off, right? What happened there? Now see, you in this demonstration... You did the white levels, you did color, you did contrast, your screen matched. And the other demonstration, you lied and said that the contrast didn't pick up. When it did pick up, you said the color white levels were off and they weren't. So you lied here and you lied there. And then you came in on the channel where we're at right now and you started carrying on and acted up. I'm not going to read through your stuff because I never do. All right, let's go from here. And if you're sitting there saying, well, hey, he's just picking. No, I'm not picking on you, buddy. You don't want these videos to exist. You want them to disappear. Why do you want them to disappear? Well, you and probably know your stuff is matching house paint in the day. And we continue to rip people off. That's what you want. You're frustrated and angry because you're out. It because you're caught as a liar. But I want to, if I come on here and I say it in my mouth and I say, hey, look, this guy has matching house paint and this, that, and the other. And this is the reason why we need to make sure that all products are tested. Not just you, Jamie. Not just you. All products, me and everybody else. Stop being the drama queen, okay? Everybody. You're mad because you have these videos where you got caught doing things you shouldn't be doing. But the sad thing about it, as a businessman, you didn't come on here professionally. You ranted in the channel and carried on, which we knew you were going to do. And that's not how you do business. So you just showed your customers or any future customers you may obtain that you basically are not professional. Not only will you lie on camera, rip off your customers, have no testing, but you will come in and laugh about it because laughing at me and giving me emojis at the end of the day doesn't hurt me. It hurts you. That, none of anything you said in it doesn't hurt me. And anyone who basically backs and supports this guy and comes and carries on, that shows the company of people that you keep. And that's not good business. People who do fraudulent business practices, people who commit crimes, and have organizations of people who hang around who do the exact same thing are not the kind of people business that people want to be bothered with because it's the bad company that you keep. Can't do positive things if you're around bad company. This is why when people try to straighten their lives out, they disconnect from that bad company and try to push your more positive people to surround themselves with positive energy, which you do not do. There you go. So let's go over here real quick and let's go go to your website. Now, this product, uh, see if you're still selling them, you have the, um, uh, we have over here the uh, cinema, we have the Metallica Mix 2.0, which is the free black and white mixture. We have a Frankenstein, which is basically it's a whole nother story in its own what that stuff is, my goodness. Let's just keep it short. We'll go to the Cinemax mix, and we'll go to the uh, Personal mix, and we'll go to uh, the Metallica Mix 2.0, which is actually a free mix right there that you can basically make yourself. Um, I know you're going to curse and carry on. I know you're going to rant and do all the stuff you do. It, doesn't make a difference because again you know you're not hurting me you're hurting yourself all right let's go pop over to the site you can curse me all you want say whatever you want doesn't make a difference to me at the end of the day he's just that's telling me just you jamie all right let's see uh okay here we go
All right, let's go pop over to shop here. Let's see. See if these products are still being sold. And they are right there. So that's the product you just saw that matched. Uh, if he sits there and he says, well, you know, hey, my stuff has changed. Well, I'm going to send you a box of free paints. And you can do the test live so we can all see it to see if your product is different. Because we haven't seen anything. You can't say that your product has changed without tests. So, you know, if you don't want to do it, I mean, I'll just send you up something for you. And you can do the test. It's all free. Go click on here. They're doing some crazy. Uh, let's see. This is all you have for specification. That's it. There's no the else in there at all. Um, let me see. And here's your shipping policy. As I said before, the shipping policy is extremely dangerous. Ship by rips off its customers. Let's show you what it has on here. There's no ship back. Uh, there's no nothing there at all. There's no batch numbers. It just clearly states, as always, he has it. Returns and refund policy. Uh, once the product is delivered, and again, delivered by incorrectly, uh, no returns or refunds, only exchange for a different mix if the container wasn't open. So that becomes a problem. And the reason why is because he feels that if you opened the container, you could have tampered with it. But that's not a fair, it's not fair to say to your customers because, you know, they probably didn't tamper with it. Maybe they had the paint matched something. Maybe you saw one of my videos and they basically did a side-by-side -side comparison and said, oh, shoot, this stuff matches everyday house paint. You know, the guy's going to give me something else or whatever. We did have a customer basically come in and say that they painted their basement and the UV mixed it and show a difference. So they had to open it to find out. So how else would they know? But that policy is set up to only benefit him and not you. Lands on your property, say it's cracking it, say it's damaged. The one we got that was leaking paint all over the place. He says it lands on your property. When the product is delivered, there's no refunds. So you're stuck with it. And if you open this up and you find that your daughter or son or whatever walks into the screen with something gray on, it matches something gray in your environment, or you just do a little experiment yourself and find that it matches, how is he going to be able to troubleshoot or test it if there's no tests underneath these products at all, period? So you have no batch number showing that the product can compare itself to a video already tested. You have no demonstration showing gray versus gray, showing it can be matched in any house paint. And as what you saw in the demonstration of him lying clearly on camera and then matching products, that's what you're going to be dealing with. And then seeing how professional he was acting in the room by carrying on and laughing about everything. He didn't stand by anything he does in here. So you're going to get ripped off. That's why you need to request those tests. So that video he has on his site, that should be directly on his site. We won't find it on there at all, period. And this is, like I said, this is set up to rip you off. This is it. This is all you have for specifications here. Um, $70 surcharge fee. I told you about the $70 surcharge fee. It's a scam. And the reason why, because it doesn't cost that much money to ship a quart of paint overseas. If you're shipping it in a box, it's going to cost you $70 overseas. It's probably going to cost you a little more now. But $70 overseas. And if the customer is paying for this, that means the customer is, you pay for the shipping. Usually you need to do a, a surcharge fee. Hopefully, sometimes the merchant will pay for half of it and you pay for the other half. I see that a lot on eBay. They pay for half, you pay for half. But he doesn't have anything down there explaining what the surcharge fee is going to be for. You're just, it's just going to be added to your charges right here. It's a $70 charge will be added. So keep in mind, you did pay for the shipping because that container right there, that Mailer, let's see if we can get one of these oh, on the floor. If one of these pop up at your doorstep like this, overseas people, overseas customers, you just paid thirty dollars more. That's what you paid. You paid an extra thirty bucks, so you need to hit his PayPal account uh, and get your thirty dollars back because you got paid. You charged too much. These are thirty dollars to ship these overseas. It costs you forty bucks. That's it. That's all it's going to cost you. If you ship to Canada, it's twenty-eight dollars. That's all it's going to cost you. So, if your package comes like this, then you got ripped off thirty dollars. He took thirty dollars out of you. It shouldn't cost that much. Now, if he sent it in the box, then he's probably paying roughly about ten dollars, and you're going to pay the rest, which is going to be about seventy dollars for a medium. That's why it says seventy dollars there, because that's what a medium costs. Remember, I told you it on camera most of the times around seventy bucks. Yeah, we ship overseas all the time. It's about seventy dollars. That's what it is. So you paid for all of that right there. 
But if that thing comes in a mailer like this, you just paid $30 too much. And he just ripped you off. That's the kind of stuff you got to watch out for. That's why I said shady business practices. Um, let's go over it. So we know the Crow Cinemax Mix. This is what he has. This is the product that he's selling after seeing it right here on his site. Matching house paint perfectly. Cinemax Mix, you can see right there. He is selling his product and ripping his customers off. And then try to beef it up to make it sound like you're going to pay a lot more money for that than you're going to pay for mine. No, 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 you're not. No, you're not. No, you're not. What kind of paint? You, what kind of court are you buying at the end of the day? It's going to cost you 40, 50 bucks for a court. That got to be some serious match paint. Now, most people get the economy. Economy is much cheaper. And that's what we use. It was like 17 bucks a gallon at that. So look at this right here. If you saw this demonstration directly on his site, would you buy that product? No, you wouldn't. There's no way in the world you would touch that with a 10-foot pole. Okay. Uh, color, yeah, of course. You can see different colors. But look at that versus that. You, you could tell right away. Um, but other than that, a all-around solid picture, I'm not going to get... So, what are the results on this? That's why I said that. This is why, and Jamie, I want you to get understanding, because I know you're in the room listening, that if you feel that I'm attacking you, just for the sake of, and I told you, I don't, let, I don't let Satan do that to me. I don't get upset like that. I don't. I'm doing this strictly for the fact that this is the reason why we are pushing for all products to have batch numbers, for all products to have testing. You are a perfect example of why. You're an individual that came in and manipulated your customers with high-powered projectors in dark environments. You went on, you committed all kinds of frauds and scams and, and tried to make other people's products look bad, which again, mind you, he has to back this up in court. It ain't like, like he's going to say it on YouTube and it's over with. No, he's going to court. He has to back this up in front of a judge. He's going to get, he's getting sued. So, you know, the LLC, he has to back up documents on that or basically they're going to hit him with perjury charges. This is stuff he has to do. And this is, comes from doing all these bad business practices. But when it comes down to the paints themselves, I'm showing you the person that you're dealing with and I'm showing you that the paints themselves don't work. And this is the reason why he lashed out at us about the old batch number. We said for everybody. We didn't just say just for you. Everybody. Everybody should have to do these tests. I should have to do these tests. You should have to do these tests. Everybody does these tests. We're not sitting there saying that only you have to do it. No. Stop being a Karen at the end of the day. Everybody has to do these tests. Because again, this backs the merchant 100%. Which you can't back yourself when we take you to court. This helps the customer, gives them a 100% guarantee that the product is working because you can prove this. You can't even get a contract for this stuff because it doesn't work. You don't even know half the time what you're saying in your specification sheet. Look at the specification sheet. The 2200 lumen, it's a safe zone. I told you from the four, before. So anything under that, you can't really run to begin with. But if you look at this, where you have one court, which again, incorrectly spelled, you have it at... 100 inch to 135 but you have something different on the other side when you go to your front page it's 100 to 120 i think 120 so this is not even consistent none of the specifications are consistent so here you have where the shipping charge is going to cost you but if you go over here to shop and we go to the overseas customers right here the overseas customers are getting ripped off and the reason why they're getting ripped off is because let me see we got right here ba -ba 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 -ba. we got two quarts over here but look this is it where's the rest of the specification sheet there's nothing here at all period just because you have it only supports 2200 lumens and this that and the other the same consistency of specifications also must be met here also you just have this 
work? Is it low VOC you have over here? Is it equal friendly? What's the shelf life? What type of projectors can we use on this? What time of the day? Because the screen activates. Is it activated at six? Is it activated at five? Can you show it off the shirt though? You got none of this here. This is all he has here. That's it. That's it. That's the equivalence of looking at a house that you think it's a mansion on the outside. You go to the back of it, it's a small shack. There's nothing here. Two quarts for overseas only. Please message me on which mix. Now, here he has, let's see. Well, we're not finding that. Heck no. Get out of that. We don't want that. Good. All right. He has the Frankenstein mix here. <sighs> That's it. That's all he has. And just that. This is for overseas. Do you see anything in here explains that you're going to be charged $70 for a surcharge fee? As I said here, this can get them in a lot of trouble. You know why? Anytime in any place of your site that you're charging a $70 surcharge fee, you must have that in every single shopping cart. And our policy shows up on every single shopping cart. Because if someone comes in and says, hey, look, I got hit with this $70 charge. But when I went on the site to look around and see if there was any extra charges I would be charged for, there's nothing there. That's, that's shady practice. So what's going to happen is you're going to get hit with either a chargeback or you're going to get hit with a PayPal complaint because they're going to look at their credit card and see that we got charged uh, a $70 surcharge fee. And you're going to say, well, we charged that for overseas. And they're going to say, well, when I went to go purchase it, it didn't say it there. All right. Let's go over to the other one. You're paying what? You're paying $175. So he's charging you. Seventy, a hundred five dollars for the product, and if it's seventy dollars for the for the for the paint, which he has to ship in a medium sized box, so that'd be seventy dollars right there. But you paid a hundred dollars for two quarts, which he's saying you get a deal at fifty bucks for each one. But what we just saw over here, you could done that with house paint for much cheaper, much much cheaper. And since he doesn't have any real tests and don't have these tests displayed to a site to show you exactly what you're buying and what you're getting, well, you're getting that. That's what you're getting. Because he can't show you otherwise. Uh, let's go over to, let me see, the shop. And let's go over and grab us another one. This is another one for overseas. This would be, let's see, $140. He has it stated that, now over here, do you see anywhere it says $70 surcharge fee? This is for overseas only. There's nothing there that says it. Which means it should be posted here because the customer is going to get hit with this. He or she needs to know what they're being charged for. He doesn't have it there. And again, there's no specification sheet here. There's nothing there. So if I'm overseas, I want to paint this outside. What time of the day will the screen activate? There's nothing here. What's the storage life on the screen? On screen paint. Where can I store that? Can I wash it off with hot soap and water? Is this basically um, a water base? There's so much stuff missing from here. He has nothing there at all, period. There's no, this is not a specification sheet, nothing there. And there's the refund policy telling you that if you open it, if you basically, uh, if it lands on your property, you're not getting jack. And if you look over here, he doesn't know the color of his own product. If you looked at it, there's no color to this product. He just says gunmetal. They all can't be gunmetal. Personal is not gunmetal. Frankenstein is not considered to be gunmetal. Uh, Jamie, let me explain something to you. This, this is a little bit off topic. You can't claim something to be gunmetal unless you actually show that you have beat actual gunmetal screens. Can't do that. And from what I've seen in the Frankenstein, it spends a lot of time in the dark. Gunmetal screens have that 0 0.8, 0 0.9 gain on They can produce in high-lit environments. Your product, on the other hand, is just black and white paint. Because we've made this stuff when we made the UV mix. It's the same mixture and it has a problem picking up high white levels as in the Dark Stir and I did when we did the tests. The hybrid mix is definitely not gunmetal. The Cinemax is definitely not gunmetal. So why do you have gunmetal here for paints that are not gunmetal? Because you don't know the color of your own products. And let me see what we have here in this mess. This is all a hot mess in here. Personal mix, house paint. Because we saw that match house paint. So that's a, that's a product you should not be buying. Frankenstein, again... Uh, same thing as the UB. We had them over. We did them side by side. Exactly the same. Um, hybrid mix. Same thing. Matches house paint. Cinemax matches house paint. You know that from the door from what you're seeing in there already. And yet he's trying to pass it off to his customers. All right. Um, 
So we know those paints right there, again, he should not be selling them because he knows they have matches, should have been removed off his site and should have given the money back to the customers. Uh, let me see, that's 140. This is supposed to be the hybrid mix, this stuff right here. What does he have in here for his specifications? Again, no specifications at all whatsoever. Different change in the policy. Now it's PO boxes here, but there's nothing else there. No color or nothing at all, period. Again, doesn't know what he's, doesn't know what he's doing. And same policy right there. And again, which, I don't get this. Your site's a bit confusing here because you have a $70 surcharge fee on some shopping carts that are not involving U.S. only, but in U.S. No, sorry, and U.S. only, you have no surcharge fee in there. Well, yeah, you do have a surcharge fee and the U.S. shopping carts, some of them. And then in the shopping carts involving overseas, you don't have a surcharge fee in there. So that's confusing as I don't know what. Screen size cover is 135, right? 135, 135, 135, remember, 135, 135. This right here came with, this, is, this comes with your template from Wix. He just changed it up and put it right there. So he didn't really do any work at this. Uh, okay, let's go to the bottom. Let's see what we got here. One quart covers up to 120. So he doesn't even know the actual cover of the screen paint. One says 135. One says 120, and again, you spelled quart incorrectly. Uh, two quarts, paints up to a 200-inch screen. That's a lie. It's not going to happen. You don't have enough paint to cover that. And it takes two quarts to cover 150. We do 150 with one quart. But again, the cover that doesn't have anything here nor there to do with anything at all whatsoever. It's a coverage issue. Um, let me see right here. Frankenstein he has here is supposed to be used with high lumen projectors at 3,000. 3,000 is not a high lumen projector. It isn't. High lumen projector would be 5,000 and up. That's high lumen. That's not. And keep in mind because he does demonstrations constantly trying to show you that his product works in ambient light environments. It says right here are not AR, not ambient light projection technology, but yet he does a lot of videos trying to show it does. How are you trying to compete with us? We do ambient light rejection demonstrations. So I guess he's saying he doesn't really need it. I don't know. But I saw from that customer and the screen washed it out. You, he definitely needed it badly because it didn't work at all. So again, majority of these products are house paint, as you saw already. Uh, the personal mix, and these are the Metallica mixes on here, anywhere. Um, this video right here, see this? This should be posted directly to his channel. It's called a gray versus gray. Technically, that's what it is. He doesn't have it directly to his channel at all, period. Why? Because he can't. He can't put that on his channel. It'll match. That's why. But you guys, as you your followers within the day, you got about 9,000 something followers. How about y'all all get together and have him put the video up there? See how hard he fights you not to do it. And that'll give you more of an understanding of why these tests have to be done. Because if they're going to fight us at the end of the day and say, oh, he's a scammer. But the difference is, Jamie, I'm backing my stuff up. And my stuff is posted directly to my site. And I can have customers return stuff to us. You can't do that. Your policy is strictly set up for your customers not to return anything, even if they open it, because you will accuse them of tampering with the product. So that doesn't sound good. All right, let me, let me tell you what the result is. It doesn't produce, I don't know. It, it, I mean, for being a gray screen, the black levels is just not there from my projector. So would I use it with my P2 projector, even though it's two million to one contrast and all that stuff? No, I would not use it, okay? First of all, you know, the whites are really off. This is a shame. It really is. And it's like I said, I don't want Jamie to feel in any way that we just maliciously came out. No, Jamie, you are the perfect, excuse me, poster child. My chair is in the back of my stand. You are the perfect poster child on why tests must be done. And the fact that how you came into the room here and cursed and carried on and went on is another strong reason and our argument 
on why these tests must be done. If these individuals feel this strongly and they're this upset to do these tests, this is really, really bad and extremely scary. Mind you, people, some people buy these products. Uh, he's got false information. We're talking about two quartz paints up to a 300 inch screen. You know, when you're painting a 200, 300 inch screen, chances are the person who's doing this is doing it for a backyard event or some kind of venue, whatever they're doing. And they have somebody else doing it. They bring up another painter in because I've had painters contact me and we talk back and forth about what's the best way to apply the application. And we'll tell them, look, if it's a canvas surface, uh, you definitely want to go in and make sure for two old coats application before I apply our surface. So we know this because we have experience in the field, but you don't have this experience. That's why you made the statement about saying that two quarts can paint a 300 inch screen, the equivalence of three 100 inch screens, which is not true. You don't know what you're doing. So these people usually when they paint in a surface like this, of this caliber, they usually do it like hours before the event, because they ask you how long does it take to dry for a screen that calorie and all kinds of stuff. And we can tell you, you can paint the screen dry at no time at all because we did it, we can show them the demonstration, send it over to them. So they can't afford any mistakes at the last minute. But the one thing that's gonna hit first is the painter's gonna pick it up first. If the customer doesn't, because a, co a painter, you walk up to him and say, hey, um, uh, they're saying that you can do two quarts at 300 inches. And you're like, no. Mm -mm, that's not that's not possible that's not possible a couple gallons no that's not going to happen at two quarts who are you talking to who told you this this painter's going to get on the phone and have a conversation with like you're trying to tell me that those two little quarts right there are going to paint this giant surface behind them you don't know what you're talking about buddy i've been going to start breaking down his potential i've been painting in, in the business for so and so years and so and so and so i've never seen it happen ever you must be some serious magic paint right there there you go now what's going to happen is now say if they don't have enough to paint the screen and say their event is that day there's no way in the world they're going to get the paint more paint from you to get it over there and they already are skeptical about buying from you anyway because you don't know what you're talking about so what they're probably going to do is they're going to go in and probably get something else they're probably going to go to a hardware store they're going to look at it and say well it's gray anyway gray other gray paint will match the same thing that's what they're going to do and they're going to paint that surface in and find out and later on put your product in front of they're both the same thing now you got a problem on your hands because now they're going to hit you with a fraud charge. There you go. You have to know what you're talking about. Uh, let me see. Uh, this is crazy. And the video, like I said, looking for this video, this video right here, we just watched. This video is nowhere to be found on the site. It should be right in the front for you to see it. You have to be to see this video. So... Those of you who basically follow this guy and support him, how about you do us all a favor? How about you go in and request for him to take this video right here, unless it goes missing. Let me save it to my account, just in case it goes missing. And request this video, Crow Cinemax Mix versus SW Network Gray 773. Is has a yellowish tone. It's it, but not is has. Request this video right here be posted directly to the site. And a big media player. And I mean a big media player so we can all see it. And if you can, get him to post the other missing videos with the one with him in the red hoodie and the other one with the personal mix. Get him to also, too, put them directly onto the site. And watch him fight you. Watch him fight you. And this is the reason why. That's an example why we need to have stuff tested. So when that new technology, the one we're working on, when we launch that thing to do its testing on everybody else's stuff, you will see screens falling left and right. And this one right here, he's going to cancel out on every single order. I guarantee you. Every shopping cart we go to to pick up a product to put against the screen, we're going to get a cancellation. I guarantee you. I guarantee you. Unless he's going to do like the other one did and pull an entire state. Now, Jamie, again, I don't want you to feel that we're just picking on you. It's, we're not. It's like an ivory. You did the demonstration, which you did. Thank you so much. We appreciate that. But you have to understand, you matched. Okay. Uh, color, yeah, of course. You can see different colors. But look at that versus that. You, you could tell right away. Um, but other than that, a all-around solid picture, I'm not going to get from this. I'm not. See, everything is kind of yellowish. Compared to this, different tones. You know, it just doesn't, you know. What are the results on this? All right, let me let me tell you what the results.
salt is. It doesn't produce, I don't know. It, it, I mean, for being a gray screen, the black levels is just not there from my projector. So would I use it with my P2 projector, even though it's two million to one contrast and all that stuff? No, I would not use it, okay? First of all, you know, the whites are really off. It's it's like an ivory color, like I said. And it's a contrast really level, it's right there. Um, Blacks are not even there, okay? Uh, color, yeah, of course. It's, you can see. And the reason I'm done with this, listen to how fast he lies. Contrast level's not there, he said. Not even there. How fast he lies. Contrast was not even there. That's on so, his P2 projector. Listen. What are the results on this? All right. Let me let me tell you what the result is. It doesn't produce. I don't know. It, it, I mean, for being a gray screen, the black levels is just not there from my projector. So would I use it with my P2 projector, even though it's two million to one contrast and all that stuff? No, I would not use it okay first of all you know the whites are really off it's it's like an ivory color like i said they're really off um the blacks are not even there okay uh color yeah of course it's, you can see different colors but look at that versus that you, you can tell right away um so what are the results on this all right let me let me tell you the result is it doesn't produce i don't know it, it i mean for being a gray screen the black levels is just not there from my projector so would i use it with my p2 projector even though it's two million to one contrast and all that stuff no i would not use it okay first of all you know the whites are really off it's it's like an ivory color like i said they're really off. Whites are uh, off, right? Look at that. The blacks are not even there. Okay. Uh, color, yeah, of course. It's, you can see different colors. But look at that versus that. You, you can tell right away. Um, but other than that, a all-around solid picture, I'm not going to get from this. I'm not. See, everything's kind of yellowish. No colors, this, right? Different tones. You know, it just doesn't, you know. In this video right here, that's the label right there. We had to dub it because it was going to go missing. And of course, you're right. The video went missing. And I could do more, um, like showing you black levels, which it's going to fail completely. Now, that fast. I'm just showing you how fast he lies. He just did that demonstration with the red hoodie. Turned around and did that demonstration. Same on P2 projector. Screen didn't pick up any contrast levels. Sat right there and said, it's going to fail. Man, I, that's why I said, by the testing, you can't... Some, someone just talk is cheap. You're going to have to back it up. And that right there, which you just, I just explained to you how cheap talk can be. You have to back it up. If I come out there and tell you, hey, we got a screen can absorb sunlight, I have to back that up. We can run at 720p versus 4K and you're going to show a difference, we got to back that up. Our product doesn't match any form of house paint, fabrics, films, whatever, we got to back all that up. We can knock out certified screens with no problem, we got to back all that up. A gray screen or white screen at a thousand lumens can't turn our screen dark and unwatchable, we got to back all that up. So this guy comes on here and just made out lives to you and tells you that the screen paint picks up a contrast level. You just saw it didn't pick up a contrast level whatsoever. It picks up this high white sufficient level. It doesn't because the other one picks up a white level too on top of that, which matched your screen. Picked up the same color too on top of that. They did exactly both the same thing. And it's supposed to have a yellowish tone. It's supposed to be different. But yet, this is hitting somewhere on his YouTube videos, but it, we won't post it to his site. I'll show you some bright signals. 
And I'm pretty sure he's called my phone. Rant. He doesn't need text messages anymore. But I'm pretty sure he's been ranting and carrying on on my phone because he's upset and angry. And the reason why you're bitter and upset, Jamie, is because what? you don't want to do testing. Colors off. Nope. You want to continue to rip your customers off. You don't like the fact that you get exposed. This is the reason why you act the way you act. This, you're a perfect poster child, and the way you've carried on in this room, the way I've, I've heard the notifications going off, but you can't click over because that's blocked now. Don't ask how. It's blocked now. But anyway, so, yeah, um, you're, uh, you, you just didn't carry on very professionally. If a person in business does something wrong, they come out and they basically apologize and try to strengthen their relationship with their customers. Not the way you just carried on. You went off and ranted in the room and just carried on and acted up. And again, the laugh mode Jesus is not hurting me at the end of the day. I don't sell your product. You sell your product. Customers are coming and see that kind of attitude and laughing like, wow, this guy ripped a bunch of people off. And he came and he laughed about it. That's what you did. This is your video. You're right here. Black levels. I'm not making this up. For one quart, if you don't have a discount, it's uh, like 40 bucks almost. 30. We saw the receipt. Everybody saw the receipt. It's not $40. $47.50. Depending on where you're at, you're, you know. A lot about that. It might vary or something, right? But, but yeah. Okay. Look at that green versus this versus that. See how yellowish that is? Like dirty? It's just off, guys. Sorry, but it is. I wish I could. Wish you could see it closer. See it closer? We are literally sitting on top of the screen with your camera. We are literally right on top of your screen. How much closer do I have to be? I should be able to see that at 13 or 14 feet. The difference in no time, no problem whatsoever. I can take a black surface painted against our screen, and I can see that at 16 feet across the room in a fully lit environment, which we've done in our demonstrations. So again. No, nah, man, this is a horrible, horrible fail. And again, perfect example for those of you, if you're thinking about getting the field of making screen paint products, do not do this. Because he's going to get sued for this. And he is going to get possible jail time for it because he's committed fraud. Meanwhile, this video right here and the rest of them we have on the blacklist need, blacklist need to be posted directly to his site. Because Jamie, let me explain something to you. If you have nothing to hide, if you're 100% a legitimate businessman, this needs to be directly on your site. The fact that it's been a year, this video is posted. No, two years this video is posted, and it has never been on your site. Why? Why don't you have it on your site? Are you afraid that this is going to change your opinion on how people think about your product? Oh, you pretty much did that one already. And if you show this kind of hostility over this video... We know why it's not on your site because you know it exposes you. That's why. This is all he has to sit in the front page. Is it? That's all. The video is not posted anywhere on his site. Nowhere, at all. Hmm. But meanwhile, on our site, they're right there. And at the marketplace, you're right there. Test demonstrations displayed. And it posted there. Everywhere you go on that header, whether you're going to our uh, contact page, anywhere you're going, you're going to see that right in your face. We don't hide things at the end of the day. You have to back your products. You know, this testing, and there's more in here too. Certified screens, fabrics, you name it. It's done ultra short, those inside, outside. Tons and tons of demonstrations, outdoor demonstrations. Matter of fact, I haven't seen one demonstration, no, not one specification, especially explaining outside technology. There's nothing there. Let's go pop over to our demo page. They have more testing on there. If we better expand the page for the demo page. 
Hit it right there so everybody can see our black versus black right up front. There's a demonstration page, paint on applications, thousands of pictures that belong to us and not Google. Another thing too that was messed up. Ambient light rejection demonstration versus 720p versus 1080p demonstration, 3D mapping applications. Floor and uh, floor and um, ceiling demonstrations, more ultra short demonstrations at a $60 projector at 150 inches. Ad tech window technology. Thousand lumen demonstrations, fully lit environment tests. We even have a page dedicated to that. 235.1 setups. Ambient light rejection, black technology, inside and out. Outside demonstrations. Floor projection demonstrations, ceiling visual projection demonstrations. Even turn the table into a projection screen. In this one, sure you can have all the lights on, windows open, and you can display off a table at a projector that costs sixty bucks. Pictures to match with it. Demonstrations on our massive grid here, showing just about anything you could possibly think of. We have two of these giant grids. One is actually on. The Crystal Ridge site, which shows off the screen's ability to be able to have the most demonstrations outside. 720p versus 4K, 1,000 lumens versus 5,000 lumens, demonstrations, black versus uh, gray, certified screens. It's all there. Everything's there. More slideshows, demonstrations on paint on demonstrations, fast and easy. Demonstrations on motorized projection screens. More slideshows to go through. Amazing customers, more customers. These are customers that we didn't have time to post on. This is live stream. Went to a customer's house and did a live stream, painted the screen, and used a $50 Epson projector to produce a 150 inch screen on her wall, far bigger than your screen. Got to back it up. 1,000 lumens versus 5,000 lumen demonstrations. We still pump. But matter of fact, I had to go back in and pump the rest of those demonstrations on there. Look at this. More black on black demonstrations loaded in. Easy and fast demonstrations, how fast it takes us to paint a screen. And here's showing you how to put in a professional, how to do a professional job for fixed frame screens. I've painted in so many fixed frame screens, it's not even funny how to experience motorized projection screens. More demonstrations, invisible technology. More demonstrations. These are called the insane demonstrations, the crazy stuff that we do. We take projectors and load them outside and push them through sunglass, all that stuff. More demonstrations. This is a demonstration on dedicated theater rooms. We built a dedicated theater room to show you that gray and white screens don't function as environments. Demonstrations on insane demonstrations. The first look at ad tech, basically to absorb sunlight. Demonstrations for screens submerged underwater. Demonstrations on the Phantom, which actually beat a TV. Demonstrations on something called Nanotech. It was a wallpaper projection screen. It was completely flexible, which we have now. That was many years back. More demonstrations. These demonstrations involve the F, sorry, LX X, uh, Transfer 44. So this is a technology we done as a spray on application only. Oh, that's him right there calling us. That's Jamie right there calling us. Use his fake numbers and stuff like that, but that's him right there. Uh, let's see. Projector mapping demonstrations. Whew. Yeah, more demonstrations. More, 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 more. This is uh, knockoff projectors, why you don't use them. We got those in there, and this is projector mapping. So you mean to tell me your stuff is not tested? Why well, I say your stuff is not tested. Let's go over to, let's see, we have Bum, 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 that's, that's a different technology right there. It's a phantom. Bum, bum, bum. Thousand lumen demonstration. We have a page for thousand lumens. Uh, Mac, Mac, Mr. Mac, I swear his name sounds it's like the, uh, whatchamacallit version of the virus protection. Anyway, you made a statement about saying that my product uses 4,000 to 5,000 lumen projectors. I'm challenging you in court on this, on the statement that you made. This is going to cost you a pretty penny. You know what these demonstrations are? This is Old Faithful. This is one of the projectors we use in demonstrations. This shows that our technology has been tested on projectors at 1,000 lumens. So the statement you made on YouTube, clearly you slandered my company and said that we only we, we have to use 5,000, 4,000. It's going to cost you a lot of money for that one. These are our tests right here. That's what I'm saying. For customers, this is what you have to be seeing when you go to a site.
This is why he's calling our phone with a fake number from New Jersey. This is why he's upset and angry. This is why he's been hearing that clicking sound and clicking over and over again. The message just won't go through. So that was blocked. He can't message us anymore on that line. So that's done. So um, then he got upset and he came in here and started ranting. Because he knows his site isn't up to par. He knows he can't back himself up. And he knows what we are requesting for everybody, not just you, Fernando, everybody to have your stuff tested. How hard is that? What, what's the problem? What, what's the problem about the batch number? What's the problem? You're going to have to back your stuff up. And this will help you out too because then again, you can troubleshoot your stuff instead of blaming everybody for tampering with your stuff. Let me see. You should know your own stuff. You really should know it. You see, when I pull that little uh, um, that projector out, and I go, whoop, oh, yeah, that's my stuff. I can tell my stuff. So the fact that I know the difference between my product and black paint means I know my own stuff. You, on the other hand, you can't do that. You don't know the difference between your product and gray paint. If you did, those videos would have been posted directly to your site to back that up. But they're not. They were removed. Well, actually, a couple were removed. Test, 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 test. So we put that straight to the header because it's going to show up either way. Anywhere, it's going to show up. Anywhere you pull up, show up. There are customers, on-site demonstrations. This is also too for the courts. You make claims that our products didn't work and they can't read. They're impossible to watch. In your apartment, for some reason, our products are unwatchable. Why is that? But yet, all these people in schools and the workplace and at the lounge and customers have this technology and it works perfectly fine. And this is where at the end of the year, we're suing your court for $1 million. This is our testimony right here. And hey, if you want, you can paint that screen up in the courtroom. You could drop it at a thousand lumens. Let's see if it comes up dark. See, now, see how I can say that? See how I have all this stuff backing my stuff up? Because I test my stuff. That's why we have the batch numbers and all that stuff to ensure and guarantee our customers that the product is working perfectly fine and on top of that, to show them they're not being ripped off and they're not being sent house paint in the mail. And you, on the other hand, you can't do that because you are shipping house paint in the mail to your customers. And you're ripping them off. And lying on camera. And I could do more. Um... I don't want to see this. On other screen paints. I don't want to see anybody else that's making a screen paint product. I don't want to see you fall into this little nightmare. You don't, don't do this. Don't get on camera. Don't lie about your products. Don't try to make your product seem that there's something that they're not. So you could fool people. Don't do that because you're going to have to show the real thing sooner or later. And it's not going to go well. You're going to end up like this guy at the end of the day. Ranting on our, our stream and carrying on and acting up. Calling my cell phone screaming and yelling. And then basically over here just constantly hitting his account. Ranting and carrying on because he's upset. Don't be that person at the end of the day. Make sure yourself is tested. Make sure you can put yourself and display it. It doesn't have the one. The hard thing you're going to have to go through is getting past the tones. That's going to be your personal nightmare. Being able to go in and say, "Hey, look, okay, my product is some poor 100% contrast. It posts a fair contrast level." You can say that because it's true. Um, I have to be in an ambient light controlled environment. It works best. Yes, you can say that. It's true. You're being honest with people at the end of the day. But if you're saying, "Hey, it posts 100% contrast. We do it fully," it's a lie. The customer is going to find out. Even if you lie about it, they're still going to find out. And if they do, if you do get a customer who is out for your head, and he or she is trying to do something fraudulent against you, how do you back yourself in a court of law? There you go. So you can't even back yourself at all. Period. If he were to do, if he did business with a company, and he bought eighty gallons of this stuff. And they basically switched it out for some gray paint. Like, he'll never figure it out. You know what I mean? What we're going to do is we're going to basically take his paint and we'll market and sell that someplace else. It happens, trust me. And we'll basically put some gray stuff in there and we'll say, dent the cans and say, hey, the product came in damaged under our contract. You have to replace this. How do you know your own stuff? They'll send you back that gray paint. And you'll think, huh, that is mine right there. Because you don't, don't, you don't know at all. You didn't do any testing. And then they'll turn around and go, and you're shipping back more. They could run that on you all day long. Not us. They switch that stuff up with regular black paint. We take that projector, run it across. Oh, we got a problem here. 
Something's wrong. Something don't look right. Paint it up. Hit it with a projector. And that white levels don't push. Got a lawsuit on your hands. See you in court. Let's see if it millions of dollars. You try to scam my company. Yeah, there you go. You got to know your stuff. So people, if you're making this, you want to get into this field, do it. That's what you do. But make sure you back your stuff up. Don't be this guy. Like showing you black levels, which it's going to fail completely. I'm not the only one hunting this guy. There's a few agencies hunting this guy. That's why he's doing the fake move. There are people hunting him. There are customers that are hunting him. They got ripped off. I want to show you some bright things. So before I go, how would that work? You buy this stuff. You see this demonstration posted to a site, but you know you're not going to see it posted to a site. So I'm going to do that. But anyway, you see this demonstration and you contact him and say, hey, look, I want my money back or exchange it for something else, or do something at the end of the day. Because he could argue that did you paint this to your wall, not if you paint it to your wall, he literally could win this because you can't return that product unless you can honestly show 100% that that product is faulty. You're going to have to back this up. And for him to defend himself, he's going to have to have a ton of tests to basically back that theory that that product is working 100%. Batch number! That's what they're for! So you can back it up. But... On top of that, still, even if you can back it up and you can show that the customer did commit fraud against you, you can defend yourself. But say if the customer didn't commit any fraud against you and basically did find out the product was matching house paint, then you're going to have to work that out somehow. Now, you can't request your stuff back because it's already on its wall and there's no way you're getting that back at all, period. So you're going to do a partial or something, but you're going to still going to have to be able to, he's going to have to back it up and you're going to back it up. Either way, if it hits a court of law, somebody's going to have to back up something problem you have here with Mr. Fernando is the fact that say if you did get a customer and they just basically just sent him back great paint and he really doesn't get his product back. Well how would he know if he got sent back great paint if you really can't tell here? So he can't even tell his own stuff. How would, I do, how would you defend yourself? How would, how would you do it? You can't. So that's why your policy is set up that if that thing lands on your property, it's yours for God. It doesn't make a difference. It could land up in a tree on your roof. Doesn't make a difference. As long as you just got there, it cracked, busted, paint, whatever. Don't make a difference. It lands on your property. And if you open it, he can claim that you tampered with it. And you could argue, well, how would you know I tampered with it? Do you, can you show me how I would have tampered with it? What makes it different from what the product you have right here you're selling? That shows that I tampered with it. He can't show you that. So you could win that part right there with no problem. But he, then he could go in and argue and say, well, you know, even if I were to give him a return, I can't get the product back because it's on his wall and I can't get it back. Which you can come in and say, well, pr bottom line is it's a fraudulent product. It's not working. So clearly, if you could prove that he can't test this product and he has no way to show this product actually works, you win the claim. I've been this already with him already. I've done it already. Mind you, I won, I won 19 PayPal complaints against this guy. I won every single one of them because that's usually what he did in the um, in his uh, transcripts. I showed you in the transcripts of the, involving the post office mail fraud where he clearly said that the Frankenstein came black. And the Cinemax came black. And it didn't. It was an update or upgrade that he put in. So knowing and seeing these practices from this individual... This is why all screen paints need to be tested so that way you know you're not getting ripped off. And to the merchant who's selling these products, you need to have this because, again, you could be dealing with a bad customer. So they don't want to back it up. So when we launch the, uh, the Challenger, which sounds like the car I know, when we launch the Challenger, the Phantom, it's a different purpose. The purpose for us to launch that technology is to show that we have the capability. We don't care about the other screen. This is us. We had the capability to bring something from our archives, upgrade it without testing it, and basically use it to take out other products. That's all that's designed for. But if your product is not properly tested, we're going to go through your specification sheet. I'm going to see exactly what your product is doing. Because I don't expect it to do what my paint does at all. Period. I really don't. I'm not going to put you on a well, I expect. No, we don't expect that. That would be virtually impossible. We don't expect that. We just want to show you that our product is more superior. But I will be going through your specification sheets to see if you are matching your own specification sheet to yourself. 
you will be tested against other great products and paints and stuff like that. It's the same test we got to put ourselves through. You got to go through. If I have to go through a black versus black, you have to go through a gray versus gray. Which means I would get the testing. You'll still get the testing your stuff out as fast as possible. Because we're not going to tell you when it's going to launch. We're going to. This is the last you're going to hear of it. You're not going to see any video demonstrations. Nothing. Not a thing. It's just going to pop up and ready to go. That's the best way to do it. Let me catch you off guard. All right, people, with that being said, uh, I got a volcano to build. Uh, uh, uh. I'm going to take this video and um, get ready to, uh, I got a copy and whatever. And I'm just going to send the whole video over to the, over the FBI because they got to go through and figure out what he said on it because he was ranting about something. I didn't read anything in there. I never read anything that Jamie writes. I see the hat, the emojis laughing. We do, that's all I see. But I don't read any of that stuff. That's just stupid. He, just, he doesn't say anything as an adult. He just rants and, and, just, and just lashes out. But it'd be wrong for me to come in and make these statements about you, Jamie. Make statements about why we feel that screen paint should be tested. The best way to prove a point on this is to show your demonstrations, which clearly shows your products matching house paint. And this is right directly on his channel. It's not in the blacklist. It's on his channel for you to see this. So, again, so make sure you just don't get ripped off. All right, right there. It's all finished. I need to go back to my other site because i got to bring up the fans and start working on it and get that ready to go. Oh, man. He really, he really cut up like that. Yeah, he's doing that at the end of the day. Can you imagine that attitude he just showed in the room of him cutting up like that and screaming the way he was acting? Can you imagine that? That's somebody you're starting your credit card to, you're starting your personal information to. That's how he acts. I'm going to tell you something right now. Don't do that in court. Don't lose your temper in there and act up like that. You mess around, you're going to get yourself in a holding cell. Don't do that. why I want it where it's just me, you, and a judge. You got no one speaking for you at all. No one to counsel you at all, period. It's just me and you. So you got to know what you're doing. You walk into those chambers. I know what I'm doing. I've been there before. I've been in chambers before. I had to sue people before. I had to go to court for dumb nonsense with companies and stuff like that. So you don't have anyone to advise you in there. So you better use the best of your knowledge while you're in there. So be professional. But you're caught up in there. You're going to be in a lot of trouble. But anyway, other than that, just want to give you... I'm glad he came into the room. It is. It's a blessing he came in, and I'll tell you why. Because we needed you to see exactly what kind of person he is and how he carried on. I didn't argue with him. I didn't scream or yell with him. I talked normal. I talked nice and calm. I didn't yell. And I just explained things, and he just lost it in there. So if he's going to carry on like that, you know he's doing stuff, dirty stuff at the end of the day. And this is the reason why I come in and back this up, because, Jamie, if you notice from me, at the end of the day, I don't make stuff up. I don't have to come in and take your face and put weird character poses on them and uh, lie about this and lie about that. I, I don't do any of that. I, this is your evidence we have against you. This is basically you in videos, matching house paint. You're right there talking about it. Then we go to your website and you're selling the very same products knowing you match house paint. Like two years back. Never removed it. Try to continue to sell it. Try to continue to lie to your customers. Huh. And then you have a track record of it. You can go back and show previous older videos where you've done it again, too. Still got on camera and lied. And you want to go around, you want to call everybody who's a scammer at the end of the day. But Jamie doesn't do anything. He's a holy saint. And that's the reason why we're going to push for these batch numbers. We're going to constantly push that everybody needs to have these batch numbers. He's going to cut down on a lot of the nonsense. And they should do it with projectors, too. They need to bring up some real strict policies for these knockoff projectors that they keep bringing out. These projectors are garbage. My goodness, they're such garbage. All right, people, be safe out there. Uh, do your research. Like I said, before you buy from me, do the research. Look around, match our demonstrations. Look at the timeline. Look at the work and effort that we put into our products. Compare us to other people at the end of the day. And for other people, make sure you get that batch number. Make sure they can show test before the product was sold. And make sure that these black on black or gray versus gray, whatever it is, are on site. You don't want to see one or two. You want to see dozens of these tests done. And for those people who 
don't like what I just said, well, that tells me if you're bitter and upset with what I just said out of my mouth, then you need to stop selling products. Got to go and God bless.